Hello and welcome, welcome to Texas Big Star Live. I am your host, Brian B. Barrett, and uh, as always, as usual, and I wouldn't have it any other way, we are broadcasting live from the fabulous Horny Toad Bar and Grill right here in Cranfield's Gap, Texas. I hope you're doing well. Summertime is among us, and uh, that means that there's lots of produce out there. And today we're going to be talking a little bit about produce. This is a show where we can talk about that. And we're going to talk about, uh, well, lots of fun things because uh, Professor Clower, Barry Clower, is with us. Say hello, Barry. How you doing? Glad to be here. Bless you. Obviously, Barry Clower, uh, part of the, well, the, the nerve center, if you will, of Bar YU and Bar YU Live. It's that show on Texas Big Star where Barry teaches me all the things as much as he knows. And it's good stuff about what a cowboy's life is really like. Now, Barry, let me ask you a question. Do you, how much do you think, and this is Bar YU related, how much do you think the, the cowboy, and I'm going to say the Texas cowboy, uh, because this is Texas Big Star, and we get lots yes. of international yes. viewers. And once again, hey, hello to our international viewers you via bet. Twitch out there. Matt Wallace, uh, our producer, is not here today. He is, uh, he's not in the United States proper. He He's elsewhere. He's not even in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> He's not in Texas today. He's in a different country. That's uh, right. Matt's there saying hey. And, of course, uh, Hushy Love. Hushy Love. Well, that's hard to say. All the way from Norway uh, saying hello. So those of you viewing via Twitch, uh, good to have you here. How much has the cowboy changed in the last 150 years and oh, what gosh. has stayed the same? Gosh. Some things that will never change and yes. some things that have changed. Yes. Well, I think you, you uh, first thing you have to think of is the cattle drive. I mean, getting the cattle from, from your ranch to the market to being sold, uh, you know, that's how these country was. There was a lot of the roads and highways and stuff. And the railroads. And the railroads. And uh, the rivers. And the, the whole thing. Did they ever put cattle on riverboats? Uh, Have you ever heard of that? Yes. There's yes, no movies did. made about that, is there? Yes, there absolutely was is. There, was there? What there movie was it? There was. Uh, what was that? Castaway Cowboy? Castaway James, Cow? With James Garner, Castaway Cowboy. It was a Disney movie. And actually, the, ca- the beef were in Hawaii. And they had to get the Hawaiians. <laughs> oh, you look it up, man. It's real. All right. And they swam them out to Our the R&D ships. department is looking up they Castaway swam- Cowboy. Castaway James Garner, one of my favorite actors. I had the, oh, uh, awesome. it's his little caveat. I had the privilege of writing uh, some songs with his daughter, Gigi Garner. 
years oh, ago. Okay. Uh, she's okay. a songwriter, uh, and yep. uh, she had visited Nashville. The yep. nicest lady and looked a lot like her daddy. Well, uh, well, I'll tell you what. Dark lady. raven hair and yeah. just a wonderful woman. Uh, Gigi Garner Hart, actually, yes, was her but name. But they did. They swam those cattle out to the ships and got them on the ships with hoists. It's like they would hoist up the, the boats. Oh, like sure, a, like cargo. Yep, like cargo and put them on the ships and, and uh, get them over there. I'm sure they got seasick and the cows lost weight by throwing up instead of going to cast the Castaway Cowboy. There's got to be a movie. Cowboys, but what year was that? Oh, shoot, I don't know. I was just... 70s? You know, yeah, I, it would have to be in the 70s, I believe. But no like joke, that's about that's the same true. time yeah. as the Apple Dumpling yeah. Gang with Don yeah. Knotts and <laughs> probably and, so, and, uh, probably so. And, uh, yep. just, used to every Sunday evening, uh, Disney had had movies on back when Disney still stood for good godly families and uh, Castaway yeah, Cowboys. Castaway Cowboys. Cowboys. Uh, look that up. You bet. So never know what you're going to learn. What, what has stayed the same then? <clears throat> I think uh, the fact that a horse cannot be trained by a computer. It has to be trained by an individual that knows how to get Tactile, on. Tactile, hands on, exactly. right there. Uh, Got to do now, it. A lot of, a lot of clinicians, people that are uh, teaching others how to be able to work with their horses and stuff. And it's a great thing. I'm not con- criticizing any at all, but I don't know how many videos you need to watch or how many videos your horses need to watch or how many years it needs to take you to get that horse trained, but physically you still have to get on them and ride them and teach them what they need to know. I can tell you all day uh, long how to ride a bike. That's right. Eventually, your butt's going to have to go you on the seat. you got to get the, you bet, feet in the stirrups and butt yep. in the saddle yep. and mine yep. in the middle and, and go and ride and use them. There's a lot of places that they can use vehicles. They can use four-wheelers and all these other types. That's true. But... And the country that we live in, and when I say country, the ranch land that we're in and everything, we, we pretty much still have to use a horse to get from point A to point B. We can only drive that vehicle so far, and then we have to stop, because unload of the a horse brush, out of a trailer. The Absolutely. woodlands. Uh, They'll cactus. Flat, they flatten a tire on a Ab- four-wheeler yes, real fast. That is correct. And so or you, a truck. Yes, and you still have to have a horse. And, and a, cow, an, a, a cow, God made it this way. He made the cow and the horse for a reason. Uh, if you're up above, he get, he's giving. If you're sitting on a horse, you have dominion over the animal that you're working. You look bigger. You're it. taller. That's right. And that animal, the horse, is designed to work with the cow. And uh, and a lot of times, humans. Uh, I've been in places to where they get their cattle in the pens, a foot, you know, with feed. And then when we get there, oh, we're having trouble sorting these cows and calves, and they'll run over you. And you see the gates are broke. The teeth of the individuals that have hired you are broke, and they've got scars on their face. For the, We just push the gate open the correct way, and we go and take a horse, and we work the cattle instead of the cattle work us. And so even if the cattle are already in the pen, we can take a horse and do that because that's the way God designed it. Dominion. And yes. It's, I think controlling, it says, controlling those things that right. are uncontrollable, taming the savage beast as yeah, it were. that's exactly right so many so things have wisdom. developed to where we can uh used to you had to take care of a, a thousand head on fifty thousand acres right. a lot of camp jobs are still that away uh, you can take a horse and go do all that if it's all in one area uh, otherwise you have to get in a vehicle to see those cattle in a timely manner and put a horse in a trailer and go 50 to 70 miles an hour instead of going 15 miles an hour. Right. So that's there's a lot of changes, but there are a few that will not change. You right. still have to. Uh, good example, a friend of mine had a drone. He's got a drone. Some of y'all may shout out about oh, your yeah. drones. You yeah. know? It's very drones high tech. Drones in the house. Very high tech. And uh, they a guy told me, he said, hey, I can go find my cattle on my ranch with my drone. I said, okay. He said, I'm going to put you out of business. And I said, okay. Well, a few weeks later, he found a cow that was missing with his drone. And the problem is he couldn't get her to the pens. So he found her. He knew where she was, but he still had to hire an old cowboy, a cow hand with a horse and a couple of dogs to go and get his cow. Yeah, the drone's not going to uh, shoo that cow it, into the pen. Exactly. Especially and then, if it's under a tree in a woodland. and you, you, Yes. Drones and, then, uh, and tree limbs do not mix. They don't mix. And then the neat thing Something about, about it. Something about those plastic blades that when yes. it comes in contact with a with a hackberry. And the and the cow had neat. <laughs> yes, and those hackberries hurt. Uh, the uh, neat thing about it, the cow needed her calf pulled. 
And so it was hard to get the drone down there with a set of calf chains to pull out the calf. So I got not enough, string not enough horsepower <laughs> in the drone to uh, so pull the there's, calf. So there's a lot of things changed for the good. And then there's so, a but lot the of technology is good, though. I, yes. uh, oh, we yes. recently, we I was recently on a yep. large piece of property with a, with a gentleman that, that was, he was in his mid-70s and didn't, didn't, he's like, I just don't want to be out there in the right. heat and doing that anymore. So right. he was contemplating getting a drone to survey his land to see what's going on. And yeah. there were some yeah. cattle that are not his he's leasing out. Yeah. Uh, not his responsibility yes. necessarily to take care of the cattle, but he just wanted to know well, where they were. Another thing, the reason I kind of brought that drone up, that's a good positive thing. It can be used for a good right. thing. I saw a deal on Facebook, and I'm just learning how to use Facebook and YouTube and stuff like that. A guy sent what is his legal uh, rights of a drone flying over his property, peeking in on his swimming pool with his wife and daughters and, and sons it's swimming. Be interesting, yeah. Yeah, it got real interesting. And people started saying, shoot it down, and then you'll find it. You know, and we made some comments on that. And so technology is good. But we still have to have morals, and we still have to have respect for other people's privacy. Yep. And so that's, yep. that's something that, uh, and that's, you know, how it all ties in. You just never know where we're going with this thing. And maybe it's the garlic or the onions or uh, what do we got here? That is a, uh, a, a squash. A squash. Yeah, that is a green squash. Well, I'll be dang. It's not green on the inside, I'm pretty sure. No. That's pretty You ever had these? No, I've never had yeah. one of those. But no, uh, I've had the zucchini I believe, squash. I believe that this are is a version of a zucchini squash. Okay, well I've had and, the uh, thinner. Our, our, our guest, uh, Paul, is going to be explaining version. a little. <laughs> they were smaller. These are wider the, bottom. Wider, Would these be the smaller the female. Maybe. I'm in trouble. No, I, no I was not a plantologist. <laughs> I like that. I, I stayed like away from the science building an awful lot. Yes. In school. Good stuff. Cyan blade, uh, JB slash. Underscore. Is that an underscore? It's an underscore, right? Mr. Cyan Blade. Uh, no, no Dylan is a Dylan. Dylans are robots, but not all robots are Dylans. There you go. Um, I got it. I don't know. I like that. that. That's good. Thank you, we, uh, the Twitch chat window, for adding uh, so much flavor Flav to our conversation. <laughs> we can have our conversation. They've got their own version going on over there. I like it. It's a, you know, we're here for everyone and everyone's here for and, us. And uh, for those in Twitch land, yeah, tune right in. Uh, let us know if you have a question for Barry. Uh, Barry's not always on Texas Big Star Live. He's not always, he's always welcome and you know well, that. thank you. I appreciate um, it. But so, got any cowboy and or Texas cowboy questions? Um, Barry is the guy. Oh, he that's is scary. the guy. That's scary for the cowboy world. Well, I mean, this, you're the only working cowboy yeah. that I know of. Let's no. Hushy like Love does. is that how you say that? Hushy Love yeah. uh -huh. in they Norway. Give us a little shout he's out. He's going to come visit he's in us. Norway. Real soon. Okay. Yeah, he's going to be come visiting All us right. right here. He's going to come down to Cranfield's Gap in the uh, right here in the north part of the hill country of Texas, and uh, go. he's going to be on the show, and uh, we're going to show him a good time. And I believe uh, Jake. Uh, you got yourself a camera today? Yes, you do. There's our crew. Wow, that's a good sepia tone you got going. It looks like vintage film look. That is really yes, cool. Forgot. No, do that again. I forgot the uh, webcam. So no, that looks great. It looks like uh, looks like an old Buster Keaton film. Uh, it doesn't look great, and it's also really delayed. So it is. But that's okay. That way we can keep up with you. We're pretty delayed anyway. Is, uh, is Stephanie going to be coming into uh, Texas to visit us too? Yes, we'll have a guy from California. Uh, Texas is going to come back and visit us. Who's, from, who's coming in from California? His name's Alfie. Oh, Alfie, online. yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, we'll have Tex, Alfie, Steph, and Hushy. Fantastic. So. A real human being. What up? Welcome to the show. Welcome to Texas Big Star Live. If you guys have any questions for Barry we got um, one, while actually. he's here... And, We've uh, actually got one, Brian. Look. A question? Hushy Love. Hushy Love says he asks a question. What, what is some of the weirdest stuff you've been doing as a cowboy? Hey, before I, you answer that, let's think I, about it. I, I think, think he means weirdest. as a cowboy. Like as a cowboy. Doing <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think a, a actual show about fashion on the Bar Y University. <laughs> that might have been the weirdest thing I've ever That was a fun done. show. 
Look up Bar what, YU. Uh, I don't know. Forget what episode number that is. <laughs> uh, but it's the latest one that I believe we posted yeah, uh, yeah, under and, the Texas uh, Big Star family of entertainment for you guys. Yes. Um, there you go. There you go. Check us here, out. You know, yeah, here you go. We're, and not weird in a bad way. It was weird in a good way. So yeah. It's, it's pretty good stuff. We're talking but, about what to wear and what not to wear. Yeah. And Yeah. Was you. Now, what kind of jacket was that? That's Some a, of the weirdest thing. That's a, a Schaefer's, I think. Uh, just kind of a brush uh, brush jacket. Heavy, heavy. Uh, heavy, uh, really heavy canvas. canvas. Yeah, yeah. I'd say it's, it's a deal. You can canvas. see the wear that it has had and the Look rips and tears, so you don't just wear that everywhere and get it tore up There's like that. Jacket. But, but some of the weirdest stuff I guess I had Hushy Love, uh, I guess, was uh, probably gathering some buffalo. And then I also had to gather Gathering some buffalo. mouflon sheep. And, and they, What's a mouflon they, sheep? They hired me. It's a big ram horn. The horns Can we get a picture back. of a mouflon? How do you spell mouflon? I, I don't, with an M. With an I, M? I don't know. Picture but, of mouf, uh, what, a mouflon sheep. I went with a, a friend of mine, Casey McGlon, Had me. He, he darts and gathers lots of animals. Okay, right up there with the saddle patches. That's the most wanted and desired. Uh, with saddle they, patch, saddle oh, that patch. thing, yeah. With wow, the ride it looks on the like side. you. Uh, you kind of took a tranquilizer like a, gun, looks like a collie dog yeah, mixed we, with a. <laughs> we and it may be that's what they. How act big like, is but that? We, How big do they get, Barry? Uh, maybe maybe a hundred, hundred and twenty, thirty pounds, something like that. But they're real elusive. They are they are sure enough. Uh, so what, really but neat. It, but they, we we gathered them like they were cattle. They we, don't want to be we caught. Hid. No, and we had no. to dart them with a tranquilizer gun. And so we used our skills pretty much as as handling them like they were 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 feral animals, you know, livestock that type deal. Sorry, Barry, so, uh, uh, you mentioned uh, livestock, and immediately my wife is holding up a uh, that's a toad burger. No, I didn't order it, so it must be someone else's. I mean, I'll certainly I'll tear into that thing. Hey, one thing the about the toad. <laughs> The horny toad is the best place to eat, not only in town, but it's the best place to eat anywhere. Uh, uh, it, it, it well, is some the, kind of good. Burger. It's the only place you can find a sexy frog. It's true. It's around a horny toad. Yeah. So. Yeah. The toad burger, uh, the quesadillas, uh, you name it. Uh, there's a sal- I, The salads are great. They put this spicy chicken in the salad. Maybe that was my daughter that did that, but she made a salad the other day that was just incredible. J. Texas Desert Rat. Hope everyone is having a, a fantastic storm. day. You got a hailstorm that knocked out your internet tower. You're on a cell phone now using cell intrawebs. Wow. He's got well, some, that desert your rat's got some desert. technology right there he if he can do what he's doing on cell phone. He hey, is such Tex, a great guy. Is that uh, this, this sloth time lord? Is, is he referring to me as Tex? I like that, man, because well, I've been called a whole lot worse. He's talking to J. J. Texas Desert Rat, the Texas Desert Rat. Oh, okay, okay, Texas Desert Rat. I was, I was just making sure I didn't get confused. Have you ever seen a desert rat? Uh, no, I've never been in a rat. I've never been in the desert, and I've never seen a rat out there because most time the rats are somewhere where it's not hot and dry and there's nothing to eat. Right. Well, J. So. Uh, Desert Rat is a friend of ours. He's been on the show, fantastic supporter of the show, and he was, uh, I believe, I, I know he was in the military, and we thank him for his service over there. Um, okay. Well, we appreciate that. We appreciate <laughs> yeah. that very much. God bless and, you uh, and all those that have Fantastic guy. Witty. Work for us. Sharp mind. And, uh, and that's what we need, having around. working for our country. Yep. Yep. Well, Barry, uh, if you'd noticed these variations of... Uh, Summertime harvest, and our next guest. I'm probably gonna get up and go uh, get her. She's here, okay. I believe with the grandchildrens. All right, having uh, a wonderful lunch you. at the Toad. Um, guys, if you have uh, talk about hailstorms for a moment while I go get her. What and how that we talked a little bit about how that affects livestock and stuff. Oh, absolutely. Have you ever been in a yeah. hailstorm where you yes, feel for have. your life? Yes, I have. Uh, I for you, literally. For you have. folks that may not know it, I've, so. I've been in one in Abilene years ago and the hailstones were just a little bit and i kid you not absolutely no joking they were the size of not quite this they were size of baseballs and it was a lot of little i don't think i've talked about this on the show a lot of little ones kind of glued together looked like Mm -hmm. brains falling from the sky that is correct hey speaking of uh hailstorms we've got we got matt wallace matt wallace producer and and insomniac uh 
God bless you, buddy. You are you're a trooper. You've been up for uh, lots of hours and got some jet lag. Or how are you doing, Matt Wallace? I'm doing all right. I uh, hanging in there. <laughs> I'm sitting there looking at it and watching the show and uh, watching the chat and uh, thought, you know, I'm gonna watch this later. <laughs> It can't so be any slow. later well, you than are. You're 12 are. hours later. No, I mean, when I get back from our trip, I'll probably watch the rest of this show yeah. sometime. Why not? <laughs> Desert Rat's about as sharp as a bowling ball. I yeah, like that. Exactly. You're probably feeling like a bowling ball in the gutter right now, man. You doing okay? Yeah, we'll be all right. Uh, we got a long week coming up, and uh, been just trying to get acclimated, find our way around where we are, and uh, seeing some people we haven't seen in a while and uh, just we went up on the side of a mountain this evening and had some dinner and uh, with some friends and uh, I don't know it's it's a nice place it's 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 so it's lunchtime there no no it was dinner it was I'm sorry it was uh supper, supper whatever. because I, no, I mean only where I got confused I don't mean to stump you but Jesus had the last supper <laughs> Not so the that's last why we dinner, call it dinner that? now. Because <laughs> he had the last Just one. Just messing with you, man. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. I, I can't even think straight on that. My, my dad <laughs> always using dinner and supper in different ways. I understand. There's a reason it's behind it. I don't remember. But it, we this evening, we had our, our meal. And, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's it was nice. Uh, but, I mean, the bottom line is when you're from West Texas, it's humid. I mean, it is yeah. really humid. I mean, you're basically in the jungle. Uh, I in the jungle, I, I, the mighty jungle. The once I get, once I get a little bit more acclimated tonight. and uh, get on the schedule here, I think I'm going to go out in the evening and I'm going to just record some audio because cool. there's some crazy noises outside, man. They're crazy. I mean, that does not sound like home. Uh, <laughs> just <okay. laughs> yeah. So, so there's. It's uh, it's the jungle. And it's as long human. as you don't hear Americana, hands up. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only sound that would probably scare me over there. Yeah, I'm not saying everybody, but I mean, generally speaking, Thai, the Thai people are super, super, super nice. They're kind of tell them we love their that. food. <laughs> okay. I do, man. Yeah. It's crab cakes and Thai tea. I don't know if it's actually the same thing over there, but if you can find that out for me, I would take that as a personal so wonderful thing. So what's your question? What Do they have crab cakes over there, and, and do they serve the Thai tea? Like some of the no, Thai they just restaurants, serve tea over there Thai restaurants in. here in the U.S., <laughs> I've grown fond of these Thai teas, which is a, a sweet, really concentrated uh, tea mixture with cream in there, and it's so yummy. And the crab cakes are just, you know... Like fried crab cakes that are just awesome. Yeah, I've, I've had, well, nose around and see what you can come up with. I'm yeah, just, I don't I'm know. I'm just about curious that. how much to, that has changed from the real Thailand. You know what I mean? Uh, Hash, uh, Hushy loves wanting to know where you're at. So, but that may not can be disclosed. I don't know. It just says where yeah, you're at. I, I He's think in we Thailand. talked about it early. Yeah, He's we're in, in Thailand. Thailand. Yeah, we were just that's letting about him as know. Detailed as I'm, yeah. No, that's fine. So, yeah. So we'll uh, we'll be here a few more days, and then uh, I think we're not going to be able to make it back uh, in time for next week's show. I think we're still going to be mobile during that point, so okay. uh, uh, I won't be able to log in. But we oh, were okay. able to get a, an internet connection. And we went and bought something specifically so we could have a decent internet connection because the one we were on was not going to fly. And so, yeah, it's all good. So, I mean, good what are you stuff. guys doing today? I mean, what do you got lined up? Who? I mean, I'm Barry. I appreciate you hanging out, man. You got oh, a family yeah. going on, right? Oh yeah, got... they 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 had to leave this morning, but uh, and so that let, allowed me to come down and and oh, uh, okay. visit with y'all. They they had uh, some stuff that they needed to do and had gone, and so was glad to be able to come down and help Brian out a little bit. Uh, we've got some vegetation. We got springtime, summertime. Uh, uh, kind of, I guess we and we've got the people here. I think Brian was going to get them on the show and talk a little yeah, bit about. Yeah, Paul is going to be coming they, in and they grow them home, homegrown. Oh, you food. telling your Paul is going to be on today? You yeah, I was, I'm going to go get her here in just uh, a second. Well, that's yeah. great. I mean, I sad I'm not there, but uh, 
Yeah. Like I said, if I could stay awake, I should watch, but I'm That's going true. to bed. All That's right, good. man. You, yeah. you get you some rest, and we'll we'll take care of it here, and uh, we'll, we'll be uh, praying and shoring you up, buddy. Sounds good. All right. Well, you guys have a good day, and thanks for uh, holding down the fort. And yeah. uh, you, you try not to do anything uh, that I'm going to regret. <laughs> Okay. Well, we'll uh, oh, hold it. Hold it. You have to say, you guys, uh, Brian, later, I have a song request for you. Uh huh. Okay. You, you sing uh, Happy Birthday to Mark Wallace today? I found out. Uh, uh, well, Morgan's here. I'm going to get her up to sing, too. She's, she was okay. all good for that. But yeah, we're definitely going to sing Happy Birthday to uh, Marvelous Mark Wallace. All right. Well, I appreciate you doing that. Right. Sorry, I'm not going to see Morgan's face. Is she running around? I'm going to wait. I've seen her yeah. intermittently yeah. here and there. Yeah, in and out. Yeah. All right. You bet. Well, it's all good. Well, There's you guys a... have a good one. All right, okay. sir. Thank you. Good night. Good, good night. Good night. A ding 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 ding. Did you see? Barry, did you see what? Yes, uh, Texas but, uh, Desert Rat. Desert Rat was showing the. He's hail. showing us a. Yeah, Jake, pull it. There's a. It says, "Hang on," but he, Desert Rat is in, has been going through uh, in the middle of uh, uh, hailstones. Wow! A hailstorm, and there is a picture. That of is one. hell Look of a stone that. right there. That's kind of the ones I was talking that about that, that, that I went through. Mine were just they look like yes, it looks like a brain and, or a big giant. That one looks right. If looks like a look cauliflower the, looking yeah, thing. Yeah, the comparison there. Yeah, that Which, one's uh, about the size of a like a racquetball. Yeah, uh, and you imagine that or a that, couple that, onions. Yeah, it's put a, together. Yeah. Yeah, you imagine couple, that falling out of the sky. Those folks there. who are tuning in right now, uh, it's several hundreds of miles of air. Yeah, yes. You, you, if you get hit with that, well, that can take your life. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. You know, God created these animals to be able to withstand anything that He could put upon them. Yeah, and uh, you know, even the poorest cow has a leather coat and a hard head. Yes, and so. Uh, that's the neat thing about it. A horse pretty much designed the same. Mm -hmm. I got caught. You'd asked me earlier if I'd gotten caught out yeah. in a hailstorm. Yeah. And, uh, and yeah, we, we are. We're talking about hail, and I love hail, I believe is what Alfie Who says. But uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. apparently you were not caught out in one. I got under probably the best tree that I could get under. And then, thank goodness, I had a gentle horse. I got underneath the horse and, and just set head down jacket pulled up right, over me right and uh and, and it was a warmer type day but it started cooling off and right where the cool rain and the warm rain got together that's when the mixture hit. drops uh and wow i mean it was it was pretty pretty Just devastating from the science of it i don't know that everyone knows how we get hail hailstones that fall from the sky that can be that big or as big as a baseball but basically thunderstorms when they build all that moisture gets pulled up with the heat, and it happens on hot, hot days many yes, times. Extremely. That moisture rises, and it's just pulling all this moisture into it as the heat rises. And those thunderstorms go up 10, 15, 20,000 feet. Yes. Where it's freezing cold many times at the top. And so That's all right. that moisture comes up and gathers, and it turns into ice. Well, as it turns into ice, it gathers and freezes other little pieces of ice, and it becomes heavier than those 50, 60, 70, 80 mile per hour winds inside exactly. that thing can sustain. Yeah. And so it comes back down, and then it gets blown up again. And so wow. boom, 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 boom. It soft. comes in this cycle. <clears throat> and finally, it gets so big that it can't keep keeping it in the cycle of the wind, and so they fall. And by the time they yep. fall, they're exactly what uh, Texas Desert Rat just showed us, an icy yes. clump. Uh, that can weigh a quarter of a pound, yeah. fallen or sometimes yeah. half a pound, falling right. from the sky, and it's Pretty not interesting fun. And right yes, there. it can cool off Who the earth real what fast. You, you become a human. You, you're, you're on top of a. You're on a snow cone all of a sudden when oh, it's just right. an ice that's several inches yep. thick all around you. Sloth, interesting. Sloth time lord it says, uh, "Yeah, our, our, we." I guess he's talking about you are our meteorologist. I'm a, I'm so, a, I'm, yeah. Well, no, you're not because, you know, if you were, you wouldn't be getting paid. Uh, a meteorologist yeah. is actually someone who can be wrong 89% of the time and <laughs> still get right. paid for it. Yeah. And, you know, if I lied to the public or was as wrong as, as them. We don't I have don't, too, too many meteorologists <laughs> running for office. They're worse. In the sixth grade, a storm hit Sonora. What Sonora. about that? Football game. Desert Rat's talking to us. And he got hit in the temple and knocked out. 
Oh, that explains a lot of stuff. But he stuff. woke up with his head in a cheerleader's lap with her. <laughs> I bet it was with her, her dad stroking that knocked his him hair out. and it made it all worth it. There you go. Prayed for hailstorms every football game he's ever went to, hadn't he? <laughs> ever since then, he loves a good hailstorm during it a was, football game. It was bigger than, uh, bigger bigger than, than golf a ball. golf yeah. ball. Okay. Yeah. Speaking of golf ball, let me go grab Paula and see. Go grab Paula uh, and right let quick. her know. Uh, we want to get some info yeah. about what we're looking at. Right and uh, here. and y'all can. We're going to talk about my Mr. T doll uh, later on. So don't nobody go nowhere. Yeah, we grew up with that. Loved it. You bet. Uh-oh. Jake, how are you and Dylan yeah. doing? <laughs> you look over. Jake, help me. No, I said, Jake, how are you and Dylan going? Y'all are keeping this going. What I was going to comment, uh, so much interaction here on the Texas Big Star Live. And, man, we appreciate y'all jumping in. Uh, and maybe we can get some more folks. That'll be good stuff. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about uh, whenever you watched that episode. We edited the episode with all the clothing, talking about, you know, what to wear, what not to wear when you're working with cattle yes. out on the range, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Explain to me how the feelings you had whenever you saw that edit, because you hadn't seen it since we shot it. Yes, exactly. It, it kind of surprised me just a little bit, and then being reminded of some of the things that I said that I didn't remember saying, but it's so good to, to get that figured out. But, uh, but, you know, just actually seeing two grown men talk about fashion is not something you normally see. I never you know, say you're not going to wear it. You know, I think it comes off of an old comedian saying, you got to be joking me. You're not going to wear those shoes with that shirt. We're going right. fishing, you know, like a, a lady would. And so, right. but being able to kind of relate the fact of sun cancer and, and hail storms and rain and weather being, being like it is, that's why we did that. Yeah. Is, uh, we're always prepared. We always have an extra jacket in the truck, extra pair of jeans and shirt. Right. Uh, just in case we do get froze out, Boy Scouts, uh, be yeah, prepared. that's right. And uh, I didn't. Uh, and you never know during the summer, especially in, in, in well, in in Texas, I know for sure when hot weather rolls around. Yes. And you start seeing these big uh, thunderstorms, and as those thunderstorms mature, when I was getting my pilot's license years ago, you you were wrecked. And <laughs> I never forget, we had to do a thing called ground school. You got a pilot's license? Yes. Before you before wow. you even take to the air. You have to do like 20 hours worth of ground school, which is the instructor telling you, "Yeah, all right." And it was at Middle Tennessee State University. Shout out Blue Raiders. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Wonderful aviation program. This is back way before it was advanced as it is now. And there was an old air, retired Air Force Colonel, <laughs> just a crusty old guy, man. And he had no time to uh, mince words. Look who we got here. Paula, come in. Come in. There's Miss Paula. Oh, we got Miss Paula in the house. We got to get our hat off. Respect the young lady. Yes, ma'am. How are you doing? I'm doing excellent. Welcome to the show. Well, thank y'all for having me today. Well, thanks. Thanks for joining us. And, uh, you know, we're look, we were talking about bad weather and, and hailstorms. There's, there's one of our, we're, we're live on Twitch, and we have people in the chat room over there to the right. Uh, under their uh, under their handle names, what do you call those? The CB handle names? I don't know. Yeah. Right. Uh, but Texas Desert Rat has been on the show before. A, a wonderful friend and a great guy. But he's been in, in a in a uh, hailstorm. Just I guess Ooh. in the next last hour or so. There you go. Wow. See that one? Yeah, we <laughs> had a, we had a big uh, hailstorm out our way uh, about a month ago. That did some damage um, to your crops. It, well, it? it sure did. Um, our our squash that we have well, here. Let's, let's back up and talk about you grow produce. Yes, I do. On I have how a, many acres? We have an acre and a half. Oh wow! Uh, under production. Um, wow. We have about uh, seven hundred tomato plants. Uh, we did well, ten thousand onions. Hailstones can do some damage to tomatoes real fast. In about uh, five hundred uh, squash plants, and that's what actually got affected was the squash, squash. plants. Oh, the no, leaves. Why? why is because they need the leaves. The leaves yeah. are very large. They're shoot. Yeah, that's right. Like and, elephant ears almost. Yes. Well, most and, most squash I've seen is yellow and kind of a hourglass kind of well, shape. It did some damage because it turned it green and big and fat. Uh, no, 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 no. These are. Oh, okay. We, I'm, <laughs> What kind of squash are these? These are considered. These are eight ball squash. What eight, eight, eight ball? Eight ball zucchini. Eight ball zucchini. They do come in yellow, also. Okay. 
and they do come with stripes sometimes. I've my seen wife, those. My wife bakes a lot. She uses a zucchini to make a zucchini cake. They also make pie with these. Yes. Um, and it's, I have not done it myself, but I was told it tastes just like an apple pie. Wow. wow. Oh, man. And I can see that. We like to actually core them out and stuff them with a hamburger or sausage mix. Yes. Yeah, let's right. move our sponsor, Dublin. Okay. <laughs> well, I need yeah, to move the Dublin closer we, to me anyway. That's right. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, that's awesome stuff. But you, but you hold those out. Time. You haul them out, and you st- and you can stuff them, and then put it in, put it in the oven and bake it for about 30 minutes. Oh, wow, what and, an idea. And, and then see, and you just serve it just like that. You're just ready to go. That is and it's, awesome. And it's great for, like, if you're having a get-together or something. It's a conversation piece. Um, exactly. We, we do our best around here to grow things that you're not normally going to get in the grocery store. Well, yeah, that gives you the, the novelty, so to well, speak, right. of not being so able much to... The, yeah, and, yeah, and it introduces people to, you know, some new things they've mm-hmm. never had. That's good. And, That's what it's uh, all about. You know, a lot of people think, oh, well, you're doing that because you can charge more money. Well, you gotta you ought to understand where the area that you're in, and you're you have to adapt to the people exactly. that well, how much exactly. money they're making and so Not forth. A lot of money you can't you. you can't you can't charge ten dollars for one of these. You know, it's just not going to happen. Uh, so you. You're giving the peop- local people something they're not normally going to get, okay. but they're not going to have to pay high dollar for it. Do you no. provide recipes with these when you? Um, <laughs> I, I probably should. You got what I for usually, the recipe. I usually do that more on our Facebook page. Oh, okay. what, what is the Facebook page? Well, uh, uh, there on the screen. Uh, let me let me look at it here. My husband always does all that part. I'm not the, uh, and it's basically it's Mead Farms. M e a d e Mead. Farms. 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 Okay, that's and, simple uh, enough. That that was my maiden name, so that's the reason why it stuck. So, I like that. Uh, sure. But uh, we're we're very fortunate that uh, we inherited the land. It, it's been in the family since 1922, and uh, it was mostly cattle and and hay. Uh, we like to eat cows. We don't know much else about them, so that's, that's we decided what, yes, to grow I understand. Go with produce. So there you go. Oh, we can slash do Facebook.com. See, is that right? Me? There you go. That's I, awesome. I, I, can I'm I borrow sorry. your glasses? Yeah. Oh, sure. I take care of that. <laughs> hey, I got some. We got some glasses here. here I'll use my left yeah. eye. There you go. Sir. Hey, these are these yeah, are really good. That? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is Mead. www.facebook.com slash Mead. Farms, M E A D E F A R M S, and these glasses make me look smarter. Okay, Desert Hi, Rat. Welcome to Texas <laughs> Big Storm High. Desert Rat. He said he likes it, but he he used to hate to pick the squash. And oh, it's a lot well, of work. It's well, a lot of work. We had a garden just for a little bit up at Santo, up around the Palapena area. Lots of rocks, mm-hmm. and we had we ended up attracting more copperheads and snakes than we did. Because we're we're in a real dry area, right. the only thing that was wet was the shaded squash, and it covers the ground. So and so, when you think about how many shade. acres of squash did you have? How they many plants? Snakes? You had well, five hundred squash. We had plants. five hundred squash plants. We had five, and it covered the backyard. Okay, and so I can't even imagine the work that so you have like to go trees. through. Well, see, that's the. I'm not. My husband and I. We're not one of those picky type of gardeners. I mean, there's going to be weeds and grass growing around everything. I'm, you know. Well, yeah. It, it's just, we take care of where it is around the plant. There you go. That's where it matters. And that's what right. produces. And and we do our best. And by the way, I don't know if I mentioned, we do not use any chemicals. On all natural. It. We're all so natural. It's all organic. All natural. There you go. And I can't, I can't say organic because I'm not certified. I can. Okay. Because but, I'm not certified. Yeah. I can say the word organic. Maybe, but, Listen, no one, there's no copyright infringement yeah. on using the word organic for me. Yeah. I'm an organic put together by God's design. Yes, a lot of are. carbon Amen. and oxygen yeah. and nitrogen. And see, I'm all natural. So, see, that covers both parts. <laughs> He's organic. I'm all natural. And so that's where, because you, you're reaching everybody. That's right, what it's here right, for. So, right. so, but I'm just going to say, you, you probably don't use any... Uh, you know, seven dust. Nope. You don't spray. You don't spray chemical nope. uh, any pesticides or herbicides on your stuff. No, because I want to be able to take my children and my grandchildren 
and whoever decides to come out to the farm, here, you can down here and you can pick that and put it in your mouth. Right. Right yeah. then, right then you and there. You can eat it right off there. the vine. And nothing see, that's better, yeah. nothing better oh. than taking a, a ripe tomato, tomato and eating that thing like an apple. Oh, I, and, and Fresh one of, produce. Yes. Oh, one of my favorites good. is you're you're down there and you've been working. You're so hot. Oh, yeah. You go over there and you pick one of them cantaloupes oh, and you bust that thing Atlanta. open on your knee and just start eating it and... You know, everybody thinks, oh, well, a melon's good when it's cold. Well, I'll tell you what, on a hot summer day, it's, it's good. good no matter what. No matter what. <laughs> it's, it uh, is the best. But, no, you're right, busting yeah, that old melon. The only thing better than busting the melon that you raised is sneaking under the fence and getting one that the neighbor raised. <laughs> that is the greatest. Yeah. They just taste better if you steal them. I don't know. That's all natural right there. <laughs> Stolen produce. Yeah. We always go. left Sweet. a little bit go. of something. We left five dollars worth of our shirt hanging on the fence, so we it cost us something. Yeah, yep. What about kids and grandkids? Do you have any of them here with you? Uh, well, I actually don't have my grandchildren with me, but I do have three children um, that frequent the farm, and they came. They actually came out with me today, and they were the ones that assisted me with. Harvesting these beautiful onions that we have See, here. See, that's what's great onions. about Texas them. is we still believe in child labor. Yes. And they don't have a fidget. <laughs> they don't have one of them fidget things. That they're out there no. with a weed eater. No. They're that's out true. There if with you a... can work a fidget spinner, you know what you can yeah. do. You, you can, can be you out can here snap helping some produce me in the garden. Off the vine. You, can, you can snap the peas off. There you go. Yeah, it's just like a fidget spinner. Yes. You can pull peaches. Speaking of peaches, right I must here, say. Right here. Ooh. While we're talking that, what? is the original fidget, fidget spinner. spinner. Cowboys have had them for years. So let me tell you something. You didn't come up with nothing new, and we're thinking about maybe sec- checking it out and seeing if there's a problem there with your patent. <laughs> so let's get the – where's those kids at? Yeah. Can we get them in here? Come on, kiddos. Come on over. Because another thing that our fine lady here in the produce is doing, she's raising some good – looky there, got a haircut, go in and fit oh, anywhere. Yeah, this, oh, Hell, Caleb, come over in this. I'm a locking this. <coughs> now, is this gentleman yeah, back here, here in the gray t shirt? Is he? No, he's not one of the kids. Okay. <laughs> well, I know there, he's somebody's kid. That man's got some hay for sale, and we need to get that here, hay sold. So, we can do yeah. this. There you go. Come on, come on, Bailey, get on up here. Come on, Bailey, get on up. Come on up. Oh, she's going to be shy. She's going to be shy. Don't be shy. I'd like to introduce you to Caleb. Hey Caleb, and I'm then Brian. if Mr. Bailey Perry. would actually get up here and let us see her Mom, beautiful Bailey. face, you we have a little bit of Bailey. Hey Bailey, my now, daughter's name is Bailey, and she would want you to have this chair. Come on over, I'll give you your own chair. Oh. All, right. All right, and then we have Miss Hannah. Hi Hannah. All right, now is, I got to ask a question. I know the vegetables are all natural, but is that hair color and all natural? <laughs> I'm loving it. Y'all got it going on. That's pretty nice. Oh, right. Striped zucchini. That's a pretty cool hair yeah. there. Well, they. These lovely children, we spent two hours in the garden, and they did 500 feet of pulling up onions. Oh, my goodness. How many onions is that? Uh, it was actually about 41 pounds. That's a lot of onions. We're just I'm going to tell you what. Now, I we know don't let them get large. They walk 500 right. feet and pick 40 up pounds up in their whole life. That's yep. awesome. Yeah. They, we don't let our onions get large because that's what you can always buy in the store. Big it's onions. a big onion to slice to put on a on a burger and and, yeah. and your sandwich. Yes. And people are not aware that once you slice an onion, you really only have 24 hours to use that onion before it loses all its health benefits. I would like to. Yeah, eat the vitamins, this. Uh, the potency of the vitamins begin to deteriorate immediately, and so you're saying within 24 hours. It's just like, uh, it's that makes a lot of sense. It's just water. You're great, just eating water. The yeah. great thing is you could slice this, cover a couple of burgers, and then not have the rest of the ice box for 24 hours smelling like an onion. Exactly. exactly. So you say you grow these small. For what reason, Paula? Well, first off, you're not going to be wasting it. Are these two different kinds of onions? Same yes. onion. They're the same onion. Some are just a little bit, little bit bigger. I, the, the smaller ones are actually peeled. I've peeled the... Oh, okay. Of them. Yeah. And okay. we like to we Smell like to good. offer those for there people that Look like to him. pickle, like people that. Hey, do, that's good stuff right there. Yeah. People that do pickling, they like to with their you oh, know sure. cucumbers and stuff. Onions like they'll, that. they'll pickle those, 
Or in the and then this size that we like to offer is for like people that like to do kebabs. Oh or yeah, that is a good a, kebab size. And it's also a good size for making a pot roast. Yeah. Oh, perfect. perfect. So perfect. and so you're not having the waste. Wow. You're you're Look actually getting exactly what you're paying for. I was going to share your recipe, but I'm not going to because that's a good recipe. Oh. I don't want to tell everybody well, because that it, enters into the, during the bacon bash competition yeah, well, that comes up in October. It was something that we just did. We did that last bacon bash. That's what we offered yeah. at bacon bash. And it was a a variation of a stuffed onion. I'll put it that way, uh, <laughs> which. I'm really excited about because um, I'm going to make sure and bake something like that in the oven. In the oven, right? In the oven or on the grill. On the grill. Yeah. On the grill. You know, one thing about that onion, me just eating it, uh, it has flavor. It has a good, true flavor to it. And so a lot of times you have to add something to something to give it better flavor. Nothing needs to be added. That is is about as good. It is good. A good steak. Hey, Brian. (laughs) Yes, sir. A question from Hushy. What if oh, you yeah. have them vacuum packed? Do they do they lose their vitamins so they don't oxidate? Oh, if that? you vacuum no, pack they, them. No, they won't lose it. Yeah, no. if you yeah, vacuum if you pack, pack them back actually, and then freeze you, them, I guess. If you actually, st- if you store them, they recommend that you store them in more like a Tupperware type container as opposed to a Ziploc or vacuum pack. Uh-huh. Um, and if if you put them in like one of the closed like the Tupperware or Glad r- container sure with right, the lid, sure right. yeah, yeah. that they will last in the refrigerator for two months. Oh wow, that's good stuff. That's two good months. stuff. Two one months. thing right here, I had to point this out, and you may know if I, of course, Desert Rat. He wants to talk about the best thing to eat. Okay. Best thing is to eat some raw onions some and raw talk onions. as close as you can to people who, who you don't want around. Want around. That's one thing that's kept me and my wife together for over 31 years. Of course, trust and understanding. She don't trust me, and I don't understand her. But the other thing is, is if we're out somewhere, are you eating onions? Well, well, yes, and then I'm eating onions. And then it doesn't bother you if both of you smell right. like an onion. Right. So we right. just kind of have to check that out. Desert Rat, I just wanted to kind of pick on you a little bit there, but we appreciate your comment. Was that a sweet onion? That was fairly sweet. Not as sweet as as normal, but it did not have a bitter aftertaste. It really was a good tasting onion. And I did not fear of my life of there being some chemical on there that is going to cause a problem. Well, you're also not going to have burps later either. Cause a problem. Cause a problem. (laughs) Cause a problem. Yeah, because I don't mind if it comes from the attic, but we don't want it coming from the basement. (laughs) Well, you know, as a nice segue, and that's kind of why I'm here, is just to somewhat steer the boat while the rest of you guys have fun skiing. Speaking of sweet, there is probably nothing sweeter than a Dublin soda. You ever had a Dublin soda? I love them. You guys ever had a Dublin? You've never had a Dublin. Guess who's going to have a Dublin before they leave? All you guys are. You're going to get to have one the of these Dublin sodas. The cherry limeade is delicious. Our fabulous, <laughs> fine, and friendly folks at Dublin Bottling Works yes. in Dublin, Texas. They're one Thank of our you. sponsors. Uh, DublinBottlingWorks.com. Uh, I can't tell you enough, first of all, how nice they are. Uh, Kenny and all the gang over there, just wonderful people. But they make some stellar products. We have some here, and there's some more back over there. Uh, but I, I, this Texas peach, I, I don't think I've ever had this on the air. I forgot how yummy this one is. That's pretty good peach, stuff there. Peach flavor. I'm a cherry limeade one. Are I you a cherry limeade? Cherry limeade. Oh, yeah. What do we have? That's no, a fruit fruit berry, and fruit, believe it or not, fruit, that is berry. Ooh, that sounds yeah, good. I, I, I kind of shied away from anything that has fruit fruit on it. Yeah, me too. I had but, that two weeks ago, yeah. and it blew my mind. And yeah. so now, you think you'd want a fruit fruit berry drink? It's the same color as your shirt. Yeah, Bring that over here, Barry. There the you same go. Color as your hair. Would you Almost. like a fruit berry? It's really yummy. We've got some drinks for you. We'll fix you up. We'll be be able to give you some. Got some lemonade. Got some root bear. beer. All right. You bet. We got the uh, vintage cola. Here we have. There's a ginger ale. Now that's gonna have We've a little bite to it. We've got some ice cold it. back there, so y'all can here's grab Here's a in. root beer. And here's a grape. Dublin soda. 
is making America grape again. <laughs> Dublin Bottling Works. Make it, you want grape? You like grape? Here's a grape. Now, these are twist-offs. You can twist them off. They may hurt a little bit, but you know how that is. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, Hero? Oh, what else we got over there? For our fine yep, young same friend. Thing. We Another got root beer. There's a root sweet beer. and tart we got lemonade and a quarter. vintage cola. That's right. What do you think? You like root beer? You're smart man. Can you hand me that there, Barry? Thank you, there sir. There you go. Root beer. You got the fruit root beer. Root beer. Okay. Well, we thank you guys for having us on the show. Oh, I've got to bet. get these kiddos back out to the to the farm. You got to get them out working. Get them back working. Yeah, that it's only going to be 98 degrees. Yeah. Get out there and, and well, you know, we're lucky. We're them. by the river. They get to go <laughs> for a dip. Oh, y'all act like it's see, 120 makes, degrees out there. It can't it be more than 114. Bye bye. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Paula. You're going up. You know what? <laughs> They're hacking on me now. I never killed anybody except for somebody hacking on me. So, there's a rat. Yeah, I, I don't know if I would cry. Oh, Paula, don't you, forget your produce. Either if it would make you Trina, cry, but it would Trina make me to, cry if you cut me. to buy these. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Y'all want all the onions? Yeah, I'm going to send some home with Barry. Okay. Y'all can keep them. I just them. need the containers. Back. You need the containers? Oh, here. We're we'll sending them, them to you. I'm going to send right. some home. I'm going to send Barry home with an eight-ball squash. We'll buy them from you. Yeah, we are. You can't feed all Sorry. <laughs> Pardon us while we bag the groceries. Yeah. Bagging groceries. And then we'll check right. in with our Twitch family. Uh, How are you? I'm going to slip out for just a second. Thank you. I used to live here, so not here in the storm. That was like a lead. Hey! So, give me your name again. Cobra, like the snake. Cobra, like the snake. Well, I'm Brian. It's nice to meet you. And if you could, can you turn on around this way? Our cameras are here. Oh, okay. Yeah, there we are. That way we can all... Uh, and you, where are you from, Cobra? Uh, originally from northwestern Germany. Northwestern Germany. I came to uh, Texas in 92. In 92. Yeah. So what's the town in, in northwestern Germany? Uh, Bad Piermont. It's close to Hamlin. Where the close pipe, to Hamlin. Right sure. pipe of Hamlin story sure. comes from. Yeah. Wow. About, uh, about 20 minutes away from there. There's a, uh, there's a friend of ours on a Twitch. See this little screen to the right? Yeah. That's where our international viewers are okay. tuning in and are nationally all over the world and they're commenting yeah. and I'm pretty sure uh, Jake remind me we have someone who's uh, one of our Twitch uh, folks are following us from Germany I'm not sure if they're on right now Lud yeah 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 normally we do he might not be on today may not be on we'll but we do check. have Hushy Love he's uh, he's following us now he's talking from uh, Norway okay yeah. Well, and I, uh, oh, too, uh, me and my late husband, he passed away five, five and a half years ago. He was a Vietnam veteran. And wow. uh, he, uh, we moved up to South Dakota, up there close to Sturgis. Sure, sure. About 20 miles away from Sturgis. You're 20 miles away from, yeah. from Har Harley, Harley Heaven up there yeah, in Sturgis. Oh it's not, not the same anymore, believe me. Yeah, yeah. Too many wannabes. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So you've been up there long enough to know yeah. what it was used oh, to yeah. really be like. I don't even go downtown anymore. Cause it's you a, don't? It's, it's a just touristy, isn't it? Cluster. Yeah. Well, so South Dakota, and you're, do you, are you from still there and just visiting yeah, I, down here? I live here? in Belfouche, South Dakota. It's about 20 miles um, north of Sturgis. So what brought you down here to Texas? Um, uh, my ex, he uh, was in Galstead. That's uh, close to Bremerhaven in uh -huh. Germany. He was active, active army. Active army. Yeah. Had to divorce him. He cheated on me. Oh, okay. <laughs> then I met my uh, Vietnam veteran husband, who was quite a bit older than me. But yeah. But uh, we, uh, then we went together to Sturgis several times on our bikes uh, from here from Texas up there. And one time from Utah to Sturgis and back mm -hmm. on our bikes. Yeah. Wow. And I thought to myself, well, before I get too old, I need to do it on a bike again. And I did. D done it in two days. 1,300 miles. You came here yeah, on in bike. two days. So you just left two days ago. No, I, no uh, a couple of weeks ago I came to visit my friends. I okay. stayed a bunch of friends down here. But yeah. you made the trip in two days. Yeah. How many miles is that? 1,300. 1,300 miles in two days on a bike. About 26 hours riding. 26 hours riding. Of course, one hotel in between. Yeah, one stop, yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. 
Up That's a lot of riding still. Yeah. Oakley, I uh, usually make it all the way up to Oakley. Oakley, sure, <clears throat> yeah. Near, uh, near Kansas. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wow. <laughs> well, we're... Is this your first time to the Horny Toad? I think so. I don't think me... Uh, I just saw a sign that said uh, uh, established in 2006. Yeah. I doubt it. So, so because we uh, we were here uh, till about 2000, and then we moved to California. Right. And then to Utah, and then from Utah we moved to South Dakota. South Dakota. Yeah. So, well, welcome to the Horny Toad. It's yeah. a it's a great biker friendly place, and we get all sorts of folks in here: cowboys, bikers, yeah. old timers, farmers. Yep. And they're all just kind of converge in this one place. Yeah. That uh, cool. that is home oh, for me and town. my family. I think what's the uh, actual population? I'm gonna I'm gonna have JB chime in on this. What's the actual population of Cranfield's Gap right now? A uh, little over two. I want to say yeah. 230, 281, 218. Oh, 200 then. It it changes to pretty big. Changes <laughs> almost weekly. We don't yeah. know who's coming in and yeah. going out, but uh, yeah. 274. Yeah. 274. That's a little oh, okay. more substantial. I think it's grown uh, since we've been here almost yeah. a year. Yeah. I'm not sure how current those stats are, but we're going to say 274. Alrighty. Almost As of 2014, so yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> our in fact, our friend uh, Texas Deseret says, "How are you, Cobra? Great to see you yeah. on the show." And he knows some people in Utah. Yeah, I was. I used to live in Cedar City. Cedar we City? We didn't care too much about the Mormons, so since we were bikers, you know. Since you're bikers. <laughs> Not too many Mormon bikers going. No. They use bicycles, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They should maybe the maybe that might help some of their missions work if they just reached out to a different people group and yeah, just started they didn't. driving so, bikes. I mean we, like we bi cycles. That, yeah, we're getting a new house and we were always on the the last one on the list because we weren't Mormons. So. Oh, I uh, see. Well, I tell you what, you're yeah. you're always welcome here. Uh, you know, horseback, used to iron ride. horse. They never, yeah. didn't, you know. I used to do a, a western riding competition in Germany. I you did in horse, Germany yeah. a western riding comp. Let's get Barry back on. Maybe talk about that. I mean, he's. Yeah, then Barry. I had a horse here in Texas too, a quarter horse. Yeah. Barry is the real deal. Yeah. No, I, no, I don't have t uh, room for a pony. Just, just I got three bikes, three motorcycles. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Cobra. Oh, hey. She's a cowgirl on a steel <laughs> horse. She rides. Ride. <laughs> I don't think but she's wanted. wanted. You don't have to admit no. to that, though, <laughs> at all. If you are, that's fine, too. That's fine. Yeah. I've always wanted to be wanted, but I've had a hard she's time finding anybody from, want me. She's uh, originally north, from northwestern? Northwestern Germany. Northwestern yeah. Germany. Germany. Oh, okay. That yeah. kind of sounded like an East Texas. And you, uh, yeah, yeah, East Texas. Maybe uh, <laughs> a little bit. You said you did some competitive <laughs> riding uh, horse uh, competition riding yeah. in Germany. Yeah, I was doing reining, uh, working cow was... Western uh, horsemanship. Yes, Western horses. pleasure and that stuff. Yeah, I had a, that, uh, I had a yeah. paint horse who didn't have enough paint. So, but, uh, no, I understand horse, that. Yeah. And I've got yeah. some Western pleasure horses that uh, they're a Western to get on and a pleasure yeah. to get off of. <laughs> but that's <Yeah>. kind of <laughs> part yeah. of it. But that's yeah. neat. How, now, how, I know you've already mentioned this, but how far did you ride down? Oh, from uh, uh, South Dakota. South Dakota. Close to Sturgis. Oh, okay. Yeah. Black Hills. It. Felt it getting warmer as you came. Yeah, miles. it wasn't so bad two weeks ago. So okay, well it's but this warming weekend up is now. Like, yeah, warm, it's a little warm. warming up. Yeah, I'm heading now. back uh, Monday. I head back. So oh, okay. Yeah, well, that's a that good time days, yeah. because I think Tuesday we're supposed to be up to about 102, 102 oh, degrees. Oh, good. Then I'm already out of here. So you're already <laughs> yeah, out of here. You're, you're right. gone. Should be somewhere You are heading yeah. north, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Or maybe uh. That'll be good. Well, what kind of bike are you riding? Right now, I got a 2005 Heritage Softail Classic. Yeah, yeah. You like at that? At home, at home, I got a Note FXR. It was yeah. a, my, my husband's bike, but yeah. it's a FXR lowrider stroker. So. Yeah, yeah. Then I have a little Royal Enfield with a sidecar. Yeah, yeah. That's fun. That's <laughs> Check pretty it neat. <laughs> it's like it's like you going, well, yeah, I got this paint, and I gotta. Yeah, gotta. <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Like smarty a, little Lena, they got show, Lena, yeah, we like got a Doc Bar, and you know, start naming some breeds of horses, and he's, uh, he's wondering what. Yeah. I bet hers are louder than yours. Sometimes they can be. Yes. Yeah, no, uh, that's just a little 500 cc one. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. that's that. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Sometimes mine, uh, mine holds probably a little more gas than yours. Yeah. But yeah. That, uh, See the the. the 
uh, advantage of not having horses is I don't have to feed mine in the winter. That's exactly right. And when you turn that dude off and you're through riding it, it's done. It's I've done. still got to yeah. take care of mine, yeah. feed and water yeah, and all exactly. that. So it's, yep. it's eating while you're sleeping. That's right. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, the bet. Horny Toad is a wonderful place welcome, to hang out puns. and, and relax. You. How much longer are you going to be here? Oh, uh, I'm leaving Monday. Leaving Monday. So sad. Weather and, permitting, of course. Weather permitting. Yeah. Hey, what's the weather going to be like uh, if we can get our R&D department? Jake and, in, and uh, Dylan and JB, we appreciate them so much. They're going to check the uh, weather forecast for you. Check the weather uh, through Kansas and Nebraska and, and South Dakota, of course. From here <laughs> through on to Kansas, Nebraska Monday, into South Dakota, South Dakota. if we can, uh, do a little Tuesday. bit of uh, weather research for Monday and Tuesday. It's a 48-hour drive. Omaha, and Nebraska, we'll do 79 degrees. Our part. Uh, for that Cobra. That looks comfortable. So, 87. Yeah, like 91 and out, over Monday, in oh, Tuesday. Tuesday's at 91. At 91. Well, it beats 102. Yeah. Which town yeah. is that now? That's in Omaha. In, oh, that's, in oh Omaha. that's the e way and, east. Uh, yeah, keep going. Uh, kind of in the center. The closest yeah. town probably Garden City. From, uh, what towns will you be going through? Uh... No, wait a minute. I'm not going to Garden City. I'm going to uh, Let's see here. Abilene, and I head, head west, and I hit uh, three, 385 through Denver. Colorado. Yep. East, east, 385 goes all the way into... Through Boy City, Oklahoma. Yeah, yeah, the, my son, Coy, Clower, he's, he's up there ranching yeah. right now. My Boise daughter City, and uh, okay. my son-in-law, okay. they're yeah. all cowboy and ranch up this there. This will be so. new for me because I usually go down uh, 83. Yes. All the way yes. from the interstate in South Dakota, South, 83, yep. 83 until Abilene. Okay. Yeah, well, that three, yeah. that'll be a beautiful yeah. drive. You'll see. Yeah, about we have a map. Jake brought up a map miles. there. There we yeah. go. You notice about every 150 to 200 miles how the terrain changes, and then it goes yeah. back into the same. Yeah. You're in some rolling hills. Uh -huh. and then It'd sand. be interesting taking 385 this time through Colorado. So that yeah, yeah, it'll He's go. to bring up Dodge some. City. Dodge City yeah. says it's going to be 95 near Dodge yeah. on Tuesday, but 89. So Monday's a cooler day. It's a great day yeah. to leave. Sure, with, so long I don't get rained on. Yeah, I'm not sure that you got 10%, uh, but the humidity is about 39% instead of oh, that's uh, nice. 93% yeah. Yeah. like that's we fine. have. So you I like 80s. Good. It looks like you're going to have yeah. some pretty smooth oh. sailing, Cobra. Yeah. So I have to delay it. Yeah, yeah. yeah i got to get home. i got stuff to do at home. Well, yeah. well we appreciate yeah. you coming yeah. out and saying hello to us. No and uh, have yourself a, a great trip. And, yeah. Thank and, you. And we All have right, Miss Cobra, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, guys. God bless you. Come back, see us, and... Look yeah. for us on the look for us on the show sometime if you ever yeah. hear. Which show is it? You know what? Find us right there. I'll probably find that on the internet. Huh? Uh, our producer's not here, so I can just yeah. give stuff away right now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys. Thank you, Cobra. I like the temperature nice. is just obtuse. The temperature's obtuse. Yeah, that's what JB. JB's cutting our throat right now. He says about bad jokes and and all that good stuff. Appreciate you, JB. Feeling the love right now. Yeah. Gotta give a yeah, we shout got out to... Woo, there's some hogs outside. Uh, shout out to Hushy. Thank you for the you. donation. You bet. Hushy, you never fail to come through for hey, us. Did, did you hear the pun about the German sausage? Mm -mm. It's the worst. Ha! I like it. Thank you, Hushy. Woo. Feeling it. You know what I've done, Barry? I've successfully messed up our product placement. I like it. We're placing it, though. We've We're placing it, it in our bellies. The only thing better than a bottle full of uh, Dublin soda water is an empty bottle. That's some good stuff right there, Ginger Ale. We appreciate them, their sponsorship. Hey, how about hot ash? Hot ash stove. Hot ash stove. It'll get your ashes hot. Speaking of heat, 102 might be hot. But it does not compare to the heat thrown off by a hot ash stove. That's right. And there's old Jake. How about an opportunity to throw up the the thing? No, you'll have an opportunity to throw up later on. Okay. Well, <laughs> I always laugh from over there because I'm always internally I'm always giving Matt a hard time for coming on and talking about how little programming we do or don't have. You know, like or if we've got. Really? Tons of great stuff going on. I always give him. I, I'm always laughing whenever he comes up and does that. But now I'm sitting here thinking to myself, you know, next week I'm going to be producing the entire thing because he's still going to be gone. And this week right. we didn't really have a lot of time to catch up because we were all very busy, right. especially um, 
Tuesday, Wednesday, we were up in Dallas, and then Wednesday they flew out, and then we had a bunch of stuff going on for the rest of the week. So, But it does, I mean, we've talked to our guest, and yes. we've talked to them over in, in Thailand. Yes. Oh. And Brian did a great job of going and finding a couple people to talk to. But Oh, that was my wife, the, Trina. Yeah, uh, well, she, yeah she does a fantastic uh, job. And she never wants to be on screen. I wouldn't know even what's she's, going on she's, in the world. She is right now. Yeah. She's even made a list for me of the things there. to do after what? the show. Hi, Trina. No, no, you. You're always talking about not wanting to be on camera. There she is. And there she runs off. <laughs> oh. Just a, where's like that Waldo? elusive she sheet? That, where is Waldo? <laughs> yeah, that, where's where's Trina? Trina? she at now? You said that. $15 off <laughs> a new hot ash Thank you, honey. Yes. stove here. Appreciate it. Right now. Yeah, that's true. But I was just sitting here laughing, thinking, you know, it's easy to laugh at people until you're in their shoes. That's right. And, you know, we're now we're here with, with uh, yeah. a light show. We'll say it's a, a light show when it comes to We're just content. getting warmed up. Yeah. But, uh, oh, I guarantee you, man. I'll, I'll do my best to make it heavy for everybody. Yeah. It yeah. gets too heavy. We I'm out of here. We got to get, um, get Hushy and anyone else on chat. We got to figure out what our question and comments for next week are going to be. Okay. Figure Sounds out wh- good. what our programming question will be. And I gotta, I'm gotta. i hopefully going to find a, uh, one or two people overseas to talk to. Good. Because Matt won't be available. They'll be traveling. They'll be... You know, right, all right. about the place. Tending the business. Yeah. Taking so, care of business. But and other business than, is other good. Other than that, it's, you know, I'm just glad that you're here, Barry. Well, I'm glad to be here. I'm yeah. enjoying it. Uh, kind T- of a new new, uh, new deal. Had uh, had had a few things going on. Really too hot uh, heat-wise uh, to, uh, to get done what we needed to do today. And so we, to plan, you know, just kind of planned on hooking up with the people next week and see what happens. Yeah. But, uh, you bet. But, no, I think you're doing a good <laughs> job, Jake. And, and it is. It's it's tough, you know, to be behind the scenes seeing what really needs to be done and being out in front saying, okay, we hope we're doing what needs to be done. And so it helps that we're a team and we're in this deal together. Well, and, and, and the beauty of this show, and we designed it that way, is, you know, whenever you do have a light week, you can just kind of sit around and talk, and it's not a big deal. Because, you know, yeah. right. if – if people were trying to do a variety show like this, you know, without the content on a television network, they yeah. couldn't get away with it, you know. No, because our content I'd be willing to try. is <laughs> our content is pretty much no content. And so if you'll approach it that way and you have any content at all, it's just that much better. I yeah. feel our job in the in the universe of the interwebs is to recognize that potential content that's it's it's all around us, all the time. <laughs> and uh, There's wonderful people with wonderful ideas and wonderful dreams that other folks need to know about. Real, real people's lives. And just, it's being sensitive to the content around you. And then finding that, gathering it, yeah. focusing it like you would a camera. Well, Hushy, thank you for for the uh, comment. He thinks it's interesting. That's probably the best. If only load we can find I've ever heard, more Brian. people <laughs> like Hushy. Man, I caught that. that was great. Who that find was great it interesting? Content. <laughs> content. So, well, it was somewhat serious, and, but somewhat you know thinking yeah. on my feet as I went. You know. So if we can just uh, hopefully JB, maybe we can find some people to play some pool. Yeah. We'll, uh, Pool's on. JB's saying no. Are you saying you want to land the plane? No. Or you want to head that way? No. Or are you just taxiing no. on the tarmac? No, what? none of those. Are I'm we just on a coming long, over to say hi. Are we on downwind base final or, or I have no idea. final approach? I don't know how long have we been on? It's only 12.30. We've only <laughs> been, been on for an hour and 10 hour. minutes. We can. Normally we have a two and a half, three hour show. We've only been on for an hour. You want us to play hour, pool? So. I was, are we having a challenge? Us play pool? Me and Barry? We, yeah, we could do that. We can play. We can play pool. There you go. Oh, Barry yeah. Barry and Brian play. Oh, BB. we can do that. I got to go get my, uh, I got to go turn on my mic, though, because yeah. I'm going to have to have to East comment. versus the West. You would have to comment. The showdown is on. Yes. This town ain't text. big enough for the two of us. That table ain't <laughs> big enough for the two of us. <laughs> the Texas Big Star Live 8-Ball When's the music showdown. guest coming on? Well, we've got him right here. He's Brian right here. Well, and, and Morgan also said she would sing something. Morgan's here. Yeah. Eight Winner gets an eight squash. ball squash. Winner gets an eight ball squash. Whoever sinks the eight ball, gets Winner gets eight dinner. Ball. Winner gets dinner. Well, we is Morgan still here, hon? Okay, great. Well, while they yeah, play, Morgan, who's Morgan playing? Better for, be here. Yeah, I'm hoping yeah, so. She should be. Because you, you know we're supposed to go hang out with 
our grandfather who has a birthday today. That is correct. Yeah, Which reminds Father's Day. Me. That's another thing, man. We got to be thinking about Father's Day. We want to give a little shout out to all the fathers. Day is uh, you bet. I appreciate my father. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't be here. There's your another pun intended. And, uh, and, of course, our Father in Heaven, we appreciate Him always, yeah, but every day is Father's Day when it comes to God the Father and God the Son and God the Holy Spirit. And Holy Ghost, we've got a man with a guitar right here beside us, Brian B. Barrett. Some people don't know that he used to have a band, and uh, they used to have him, and they wish they still had him. And uh, but Maybe. Could, <laughs> maybe. And uh, we got some guitar going on. He does some imitations also. He uh, imitates a guitar player and a singer, and he does a wonderful job doing that. I play one on TV. Some old boogie Happy woogie. Happy birthday to you. Yeah, happy birthday to him. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear marvelous Mark Wallace. Martin Wallace, ho! Oh. Happy birthday to you. Mark Wallace, you will not be able to eat a cake now for your birthday. That was so country, you're going to have to have a chicken fried steak. He enjoys country. With yeah, I did chicken, fried steak, and gravy, country. and you're going to have to stick some candles in that. How many candles are we actually putting in that chicken fry? I, I can't say. I, I know, but I can't say. I think Jake knows. How old's granddaddy? My, my lips are sealed. He's your I granddaddy? I believe he's 52. Like, like uh, yeah. yeah. A man is was, proud of his 51. age. Now, if it was grandma, we wouldn't be able to say nothing, but granddad is proud uh. of his age. He's got to be. He's old enough to know better and young enough not to tell. What do you do when things are slow on your TV show? You just sing a song. Sing a song. And drink you Dublin. Sing a song. Drink Dublin soda. What do you do when a river just don't flow? Sing a song. That's right. Sing a song. Pick out a tune that makes the world go round. Pick out a tune. Find your sound. Smile and laugh it off and come along to a song. You sing a song. You sing a song. All right, Barry, you take a verse. I only know one song, and that's Milk Cow Blue. What key would you like that in? Uh, B flat, because when I sing, it will be flat. B flat, the favorite amongst guitar players everywhere. Well, I woke up this morning, looked out my door. I could tell my milk cow, I could tell by the way she low. Now if you see my milk cow, please drive her on home. I ain't had no milk and butter, cause it's my milk cow been gone. Let's take it up. You've got to treat me right Day by day Get out your little prayer book Get down on your knees and pray Cause you're gonna need Need my help someday Oh yeah You're gonna be wondering, honey Why you ever treated me that way Help me now Little guitar. I'll fill the blues. Milk cow. Oh. 
Horny Toe Blues. Last verse, go ahead. Well, good evening, don't that sun look good going down? Oh, yeah. I said, well, good evening, don't that sun look good going down? And don't that old cowboy bedroll look lonesome when your sweet love ain't nowhere around? Let me tell you here. Well, I tried everything to keep you satisfied. I'm just gonna have to get on my horse and ride. And if you don't think I ain't leaving, just count the days I'm gone. And if you don't believe I'm leaving, you'll know that it was all wrong. And you're gonna see me crying no more. Cause I'm going down to the Honey Toad and have some Dublin for show. Dublin for show. Dublin for sure. And double my pleasure with some Dublin for show. Oh, That's yeah. right. Bubbly, bubbly Dublin all night. Now oh, my dentist may not like it. <laughs> But my blood sugar do. Yes, Mr. Brian Bean, we can make it happen. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Give me a double. A double dose of the Dublin brother. A root beer, a cola. Oh, you know it. Hey, guys, huh? Fru fru berry, grape. Do they have cherry? It's cherry all right. Lime. Cherry lime. Oh, the cherry right. lime. All the time. We better play some pool. We're looking like a fool. Play some pool. But we like cherry lime. How about cherry lime? Oh, like cherry lime. I'm doing my part. Well, then I think everybody is wanting what I'm wanting for it to do, and that's quit. Yeah! You got a good guitar player, it don't oh, matter yeah. who's singing, yeah. Mighty fine, pick it and sing it. Hey, knee Barry. slapping right there. Barry. Yes. I got to give you some kudos, because Brian switched into an easier key to play yeah and you followed him yeah like no big deal yeah it's good work is that okay it's impressive all right i was yeah. impressed well, see, it's, it's uh they they say something about like uh you know willie nelson's pretty famous a little shout out <laughs> for willie nelson and willie always plays about two bars behind have you noticed that or, or sings two bars yeah right? yeah, two, yeah. yeah. Kind of, something like that yes. and then some people like brian didn't know for sure about the milk cow blues so he waited until i sang and then he got in my key right yeah because we're a team we're not he didn't look <laughs> over at me like man you're in the wrong key that would have screwed everything up right and so yeah. then when he dropped key, we just we didn't have to know words. We're making the words up. Nobody else knew the words of this song, so they can't prove that we're wrong. They're not written down anywhere. They're so. not. And and that's that's the beauty of Texas Big Star. Might I point out the word live? Live. That's the key <laughs> right there. And you what's know, so you, awesome you, about and, a producer. And, and you can't get this anywhere else, and that's why this is your no, one stop you shop can't. for you know, inspired content. Yes. It's inspired, one-of-a-kind content. This is custom-made for you, the discerning viewer. And that is you, your fine yeah. discerning viewer. That's what a lot of people don't realize. We're not here for us. No. Much like the Bar Y, the Texas Big Star, much like the Horny Toad, they're not here for themselves. We're not here for ourselves. We are here, number one, honor, flock, glorify the Lord, and make people happy. So if you have nothing, if we had one viewer, we want you to know if we had one viewer right now, we would be tickled to death that we were making that one viewer happy. So that's what it's all about. And appreciate Jake and Dylan, JB, our main lady back there that never wants to be seen on TV. Flash a camera shot. She don't want to be seen no more. 
That's right. So, Barry, I think we need to play some pool real soon. Yep. In Let's play Texas some pool. Eight yep. Ball yep. Showdown. It's on. We're playing for eight ball yep. squash. That's what we're yep. playing eight for. Eight ball pool for uh -huh. an eight ball squash. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. I don't know who's going to be it. here at the desk, but uh, y'all have ah, a good time watching the empty desk. We're going to be over here. Oh, Jake's coming empty over. Empty glass. No, no, no. no. I, I'll just commentate from here. Last cigarette. Oh, cool. That's good. All right, man. It's we're flexible. going. Thank you. Pool uh, time. He's going to go turn on that wide camera. And um, we're not going to go to this camera shot because it's so out of sync it hurts. It's really out of sync. Boom. <laughs> So, right over there, we got ourselves the pool. Well, for starters, let's turn that up. Now we can hear them. We oh, we lost our camera. Turn it back on. There it is. Hello, everyone on Texas Big Star Live. How's it going? There's a real long delay when I'm talking, so if I stutter any, please forgive me. It turned back off. Turn it back on. There we go. And then uh, we're going to watch them play some pool. Don't know. There we go. Leave it right there. So we're going to see who's going to break. The, who, who's breaking? So everyone, we're just going to, oh, there they are. There's Brian and Barry. Looks like, looks like Barry is, Barry's going to be breaking. Looks like it. Oh, oh, there's Brian. All right, here we go. Turn up that microphone. I'm going to let you break. Like Looks like Barry's breaking. Sir Cybot, how's it going? Looks like Brian was ooh, almost. Brian was shooting for solids. Video. There you are. Ooh, there we go. Barry with the solids. Lining up another shot. Corner pocket. Damn, and it's good. Thank you for watching Texas Big Star Live, where we watch Brian get beat real bad by Barry playing some pool. Ooh. Lines up Brian for a corner shot, looks like. Yep. There it is. Oh. <gasps> and he doesn't what? make it. What'd you do? What'd you do? I see you got it too. Both of them. Both of them not making shots. Quite as clean as they would prefer. Ooh, breaking them up. Is Brian's favorite B and H, the Bang and Hope. So do you. Oh, Ooh, they're just trying to make trick shots. That's what they're doing. Lizzie, how's it going? Thanks for joining. Combo fourteen. Good. Combination. Oh, another combo shot. Let's see how this goes. Oh, not quite. Not as clean as he had hoped. Here's Barry. Making a long shot down the table. Oh, also... Not as clean as he had hoped. 
like almost the whole length of them having the mask. Yeah. Mm. That's too tight to turn. Ryan? Yes. Line up Side shot does not make it. Not quite sure what Barry was hoping for on that one. Another bang and hope. Thank you. Oh, no. You're welcome. Oh, breaking him up. Oh, Andy makes a solid. But mine or yours? No mine. What? Yeah. However, wait a minute. We get a replay. I don't think. Uh, don't think he called that one. But he's going to take another shot anyway. I am. Look at that. No, he's he something too for me. Look how much real estate I have on the table. Barry lining up the shot. Maybe for the side pocket. Oh. Trying to make a bank shot. Now that I've got all mine out of the way, you should be okay. Yeah, I should be able to go doing that. There we go. A clean shot from Brian. Ooh. <gasps> nope. And rolls. Now what you gonna do? Shoot. Oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm wondering if that table is a little unlevel. I keep rolling back this way a bit. Goes Brian. Ooh, clean shot to the side pocket. Lines himself up for another side pocket shot. And a clean shot. Don't know what he's going to do with this one, though. This one's going to be a little tougher. Ooh, long shot. Does not make it. But scratches. Oh, no. Barry getting to place the ball. Setting it over on the side. Trying to look like, looks like a bank shot. Nope. And another scratch in the same pocket. <laughs> Setting it back up. Now Brian getting to place the ball. You would think I could hit this. Ooh. You can hit it. Long shot. Yes. There it is. Now you can hit that one. So Don't know back. where he's going to hit that back. 12. Not quite what he was looking for. <laughs> Not quite sure what that was. Oh. Going to have to bank it. Oh, not quite. And bumps it. Maybe. I don't Lines up Barry for a shot. Not too shabby. Oh, but scratches. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, we're setting up for a clean right shot. Here. It's a long shot, though. That guy down there is going in. You're going to get the eight ball squash. Eight ball oh! squash. Eight ball squash. You kind of made it hard for me, though. Nah, you, you're going to get that. Not a 
super easy yeah, shot. Over there. Yeah, I think you got right here? Yeah. He's going to try and graze it. You'd have to really mess it up bad to mess it up. Oh, oh. <laughs> there you are. There you are. I think I'll go with this one. There you are. Yes. There it is. <laughs> Brian job. with the win. Good job. What a comeback in the century. Oh, man. Sweet. Everybody, thank you for watching Texas Big Star Live. Sorry for the delay on the video. It's real bad. Next week, I promise, I will bring my webcam. I promise. Thank you guys for watching. We've got a little bit more of the show today. Hopefully, we're going to have Morgan on, Morgan Wallace, as well as a little bit of a... In, we found a gem in the Horny Toad earlier. We're going to have a little bit of a... A read a story time with Brian. However, I don't know where Brian went. Brian, where'd you go? There's Mary. They're gonna join us back on the table. Looks like they're clearing some people out. There we go. JB, camera. And you and I, you and I uh, know how to increase ratings. You build the tension, like any oh, carefully yeah, yeah, planned, yeah. orchestrated television show. That's what you we were You build going the for. tension. You 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 root for an underdog, uh, who in the last minute pulls it through and becomes victorious you did. against all odds, and uh, against horrible circumstances. I was able to be. That underdog you. today. And I thank you, the viewer, for being able to watch that. And because of and that, I, I win the eight ball I squash. I graciously give you the eight ball squash. And this is from Media Mead Farms. Mead Farms. Yes, Mead, Mead, Mead Farms. Farms. Thank you for your donation of this eight ball squash. That's right. I will gladly accept uh, on behalf of myself and, and the Academy. Thank you yes. for this eight ball squash. Well, it is, my uh, mama, my it's going to go in the oven. Preferably with some uh, some brown sugar, beef, and uh, some beef. <laughs> Put some beef. Everything's better with beef. It's going to go to my wife Katrina, who knows best how to treat an eight ball squash. There you go. Oh, you're going to put ham. This in the kind. You, this in the kind you douse in brown sugar and make spaghetti out of, kind of thing. It can be. So this is a hamburger and onion. You said. And we have we have we will Meat catch farms. some beef www.facebook.com slash meat farms I wanna, Can we paint faces on it before we eat it? Yes. This Let's is like miniature pumpkins. Squash me. Because that's is, not weird. This is a summertime pumpkin thing that you oh, can... Uh, glad we didn't have any that Dublin in that. Yeah. You know, if you're not a Dublin lover, you're just spilling cola. That doesn't happen when you're drinking Dublin. You know why? Because you drank the Dublin. That's right. Sorry, you know, Cola, you, you see don't an empty drink. glass, it probably had Dublin in it. You bet. Here we go. Trina is the best cook. How about that? Trina is the best cook. Trina is the best cook. You know? And, and A starting 76 would know. That is Trina's sister. Sister. Hello. A Starton, thank you for joining us. We appreciate that a lot. Got it going on down here at the Horny Toad. Best Where place did Morgan to be. Go? Oh, Best she's town. Back. Where is Morgan? I'm just, Morgan I'm just creating artwork over here. Has anyone ever decorated squash that can do this better than me? Because I, I no, feel like I'm a novice. I'm a, you know, hey, I'm, yo, I'm, I'm Morgan. no squash Picasso. She's going to do some singing. You know, with these eyes, these eyes of Texas are upon you. Painted on an eight ball squash. Got any Canadians here? Come on. That was a that was oh, a, a guess who Canada. guess who reference. Come on. Anybody? Burton Cummings and the Guess Who? One of my favorite vocalists of all time, BT dubs. Burton Cummings, the Guess Who? Yeah. yeah. Na, 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 na. That one and uh <laughs> these eyes <laughs> Got it. every night. I've for decorated you. pumpkins. They have decorated pumpkins. This looks like a gremlin the way I did this. This is beginning to look very Gremlin-esque. Don't feed him after midnight. I like the young man watching the old shows. That's good. But that's a different... That's different than a squash. 
It is a type of zucchini eight ball squash is what that is. Yes. So we're here to educate, liberate. Yeah. <laughs> we're not liberals by any means, but we will help you. Come on around. You got to love squash. Squash is good. Good for you. I'm just painting a face on a squash, everybody. Yeah. From Meat Slosh Farms. Down. Anyway, I think I've done enough damage on this. We can just set that guy right there for the viewing audience. Or maybe over here at this camera angle. No, nope. looks like you have to go right. Yep, there he was. There he was. Good. There we go. All right. It's perfect. There we go. That looks Parfait. like a pretty good deal there. Yes, sir, Jake. Tell us a little bit about the gem that you found earlier. The what? The, the gem? The story oh, time. Uh, what We're did about I do with story time. Uh... Yes, Folks, that's what we were waiting I, on. We say in. this every week, Barry, but you just never know what's going to happen on Texas Big Star Live. I was yeah, nosing around. We don't either. I nose around in the attic, uh, working on speakers. The attic here has, uh, oh, I don't know, 140 years of history. <laughs> How long this building's been here? Yeah. I don't know. It feels like it's 140 years old up there. Yes, exactly. Uh, and it's 140 degrees um, around one. Uh, and, you act like it's 120, but it can't be more than 114. But I was nosing around the uh, the horny toad here, and apparently someone had donated a book yesterday. Hey, uh, it's story time. Get the children up had from Had donated my Mr. T doll book to, uh, to the horny toad. Yes. Mr. T and me. Yeah, that Mr. Is, T and me. That's what we're It's after. a Mr. T and me book. It's called My Mr. T Doll. Can't make this up. Really is happening. And and the Twitch chat is going to go crazy. Uh, it, and it should, because where else can you find, oh. I didn't even know they made them, a Mr. It's, T and Me book series, circa, I want to say, 85. It's going to blow up because he showed up. And it says, uh, to the horny toad from, uh, is that Charlesy, Garrett, and Cat for no reason at all, yes. dated yesterday. You yep. see that there? Of course, they no, no, re no. didn't realize they would be on... Uh, do I have to ask their permission if they've left it here? I, don't, I think it'll be easier do, now. What kind just, of release? I, I think it's kind of like uh, surviving marriage. It's it's a lot easier to get forgiveness than permission. So what kind of release we, form do we have to... What are, the, what are the laws on that? I don't know. Yeah. Um, well, let's just go ahead and do it, and we'll find out, and I'm sure. And, of course, sure. Mr. T is quoting here, and I think these might have been written in after the fact. I'm not sure that the Mr. T series of books... It says, it says, uh, I pity the fool, don't like the horned toad. Mm. Yes. <laughs> JB remembers that quote fool. from the 18th. And on the back, there's a wonderful picture of uh, who else but Mr. T. Ooh, bless so me. Uh, it's very child friendly and biker friendly here at, uh, but I don't know, have you seen this? Yeah, the, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. There needs to be more books yeah. like them. Uh, and at the, you know, and he's he's giving life uh, circa eighty five is what that says, I believe. I don't have yes. my glasses, but and uh, here this, she comes this young to lady save the doesn't day. have a father, and so uh, Mr. T is telling her, uh, you know, about just anyway, it's great about life, life about in life. general, yeah, and life in pitying, general, pitying all fools. Can I look at that? You can. Yes. Morgan, welcome. Well, if it is well, Morgan, back? I did not read the back. Want to have Mr. T as your buddy? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'd ha I'd rather have him for me oh than against gosh, me. Oh my gosh, guys, this isn't just one book; it's a series. Yeah, 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 I believe it's the serious? Mr. T and Me series. It's a serious series. Okay, you want me, did you read the titles? I did not. No. You guys want to hear the titles? The Hand Me Down Cap, the Somebody Kid, the Silver Squawk Box. I don't know what that is. There we is. go. The best bike ever. Phony baloney. There you go. That's, I want to I mean, hear Mr. T say that. Phony baloney. And then the, the, sidewalk, the, like mockers. Bony bony. sidewalk mockers. Sidewalk oh, mockers. This one's good. The muscle tussle. The muscle tussle. <laughs> yes. And then my Mr. T doll, which is this one. Uh -huh. I'm, so, <laughs> I'm so, so, so what? Do you see that? I'm so, so, so what? Tackle block stop. The not so great place and the hard luck mutt. Hard luck. It's a hard luck mutt. <laughs> I've got. I bet these cost a lot. Like I if bet to you get they're the collectors' items right now. Yeah. I bet us just having this, this on the show is going to cost eBay. us a lot. 
Now, Mr. T would not approve of thievery. Yeah, no, it's obviously he's, for the honey He's a Christian to... man and, and always has a very positive message at the end of the book. He really does. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> but uh, the fact that it was donated, and of course, uh, these folks wrote in, Heart love beer. beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I pity the fool that don't love beer. <laughs> there we go. Oh. All right. Uh, I mean, I Mr. was expecting T, our Twitch crowd to out, ignite, and it's just yeah. crickets. If he would have come <laughs> out, if he would have come out before Dr. Seuss, it would have just ruined the. It would have, yeah. Dr. Seuss never would have got through it. I, I don't know. I, I, I think. I don't, <laughs> turn them loose with Dr. Seuss. Think about that for just a moment. Hey, Jake, did you want to have some more pool, or uh, what do you think? We're going to leave it up to Jake. Jake is know. the the uh, big I man know. on campus. Mm -hmm. How many the, days uh, does this last? I mean, on camera. doesn't care. How, how many days does this show last? Um, after <laughs> I mean, this show? Is yeah. it probably year? done. But, you know. Okay. Well, now, was Margaret, was you, was you going to sing for us or anything? Apparently. Morgan, that's why I showed up. Uh, I was told Morgan, I had to sing. A real human being was asking, who's the guest? She looks awfully familiar. Well, this nope, is... Uh, I'm a new one. <laughs> introduce yourself so everyone will know. My name is Morgan Wallace. We have a lady at the table. Um, what That's is there to know? Name. Well, actually, it still is because I haven't legally changed it. You need to legally change that name, yeah, girl. Yeah, well, guess what? It takes time out of my day to go do all that. <laughs> I have to change it. I got it. married. I don't have time to legally <laughs> change my name. Actually, apparently, it's pretty easy, Social Security-wise, but then I have to go to the DMV. And then I don't want to change it yet because I need to possibly sure use my out. passport somewhere. Right. And then if they like, uh, yeah, I just I'm waiting till I potentially travel somewhere this summer, and then I'm gonna get it all switched over. Because apparently you get a free passport shift. Like if you just get married, apparently they will waive the fee. I could be wrong, but I read something that they'll waive the fee if you just have like a name change because you got married. So I'm like, yes, please. So I'm just waiting on all of that. Yes, exactly. I Jake did not Martin's. know that. <laughs> He's like, they'll wave the fee yeah well sometimes when you get married they just do the wave yeah but waving Who's the fees who does wedding the parties? wave and i, I yeah. had uh, i had in two stadiums. daughters i had when two get daughters get stadiums. married in the last few years so and i took care of the fee so <laughs> yes <laughs> it was it was I, waved I was, your yeah, way it was waved like my smoke way. signals and that's what like you're wafting. supposed to do if you're wafting a, you're talking about father's day this weekend i'm glad you brought that up yeah and so uh, you just say, yes, ma'am, it's your day, and that's the way we want it, and that's a great deal. Uh, I had somebody tell me one time, I only paid $10 to get married, and I said, well, it looked like you got <laughs> what you paid for. So oh my God. you want to make sure that you do Did it upright divorced? the first time. No, no. But uh, Sounds anyway, like a good deal, I, and I've, 31 years, I've never even, me and my wife, either one's considered divorce. Murder a yeah. couple of times. Oh right. yeah, but most people divorce. I know who've been married so. for a very long time they say never divorce. Murdering them in their yeah. sleep or I want you feet. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> no, no, and we're not condoning that, but we no. know some people if you're heading that direction. Right. That's the thing. Well, uh, those of you who don't know, Morgan is a fantastic artist, singer, musician. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm a, a hardest to me. What? Uh, an artist. My hardest. Hardest. I heard Skip. hardest. It's hard to hear wow. in here. She's the hardest hey, musician. I'm the hardest musician. Come on in. You You're the you hardest musician to work with. Toad coming in. <laughs> I actually tried to be the opposite, but you know what? Can't make everyone well, I, happy. I've played in gigs with guys who've jumped in and we've met each other for the first time and played a gig. And that's when you do, that's when you do the handshake and go, man, it's, it's been great playing against you. <laughs> <laughs> just didn't like, gel. Like, I don't know. Culture these days. I haven't met a lot of musicians that have like good, strong handshakes. Might just be the wrong part of town. Right. Right. I don't know. It's so let's sing something. Let's let's let you sing something, and I will. Uh, I will. Do, I will simply you read do a chord ring chart. Of fire? Oh yeah. I fell in Very burning ring of fire. Yeah. Let me go get well, ready I hear for that. the train come. I don't actually have the chords. Do I do just Johnny have the Cash. Roman I guess you could do some Johnny Cash. Yeah. Yeah. I has a list here. Where is it? I still have to read the words because I can't memorize worth a dang. Right. I just right. can't. You got to have the words. And I mean, you I like can, the next word keys on to the next word. And we was messing around this morning trying to get our uh, uh, sing on with uh, with Brian and and uh, clue in a few of our sponsors in Dublin. And you know, we just kind of throw in some words. 
in there and uh so you know if, if somebody don't know the song you just sing it the way you want to and act like that was the words and, i absolutely uh, agree so i actually did that last night i think i blanked on a really famous song and i was just like i know i'm not singing the right verse at the right time and i just kind of yeah. mumbled through it until i what got to the, the famous song i'm not gonna tell you because it's Come that on. embarrassing what what no, was i won't it? say it until someone donates or something like someone's got to donate oh, donated. Some, well that was an hour ago that doesn't count <laughs> what was the song morgan no, I well I do what want to test song? them because I want them to donate money to Texas Big Star. What? That's great, no. What'd you do? So I'm gonna donate. So you'll tell me what the song was. <laughs> that doesn't really work. It's redundant because that goes to you. So that also doesn't count. It has to be an it outside person. Doesn't. No. Technically, it goes to Texas. And Big Star. And this is the segment where siblings fight on TV. Yeah. <laughs> um, That'll work. Does anybody on the Twitch? stream have a request for Brian and me. I'm going to have to relocate because I'm like on the corner. Well, we could go over there. Or we, I'm fine with just sitting here if you just want to yeah, scoot I'm, over I'm cool though. with that. I just want to like Jake, I've been using the 58 on the relocate. Uh, on the whatnot. I just want to like either get on this side. Is that side cool? Or that you want to reposition something? Yeah. Jake knows best. He knows That's down. Roll, he's, man. he's smart. <laughs> scoot to the barrier of that. <laughs> like getting stabbed by the corner <laughs> that's what okay okay oh it says scott solo but you're not scott hey did you guys have scott on the television show the other the other that's the same scott that right there that scott is the same. <laughs> G, you wanted an E? No, that's fine, because we can sing together. We can harmonize. Wallace, <laughs> you're funny, Dylan. Anita, I didn't know Anita was working for us. What do you need? Barry has a knife. He's got three of them on him. Yes, please. It's going to be best. Oh, you are Black such a baller. <laughs> we got another one if you need it. <laughs> they do if they're sharp enough. <laughs> or you can. <laughs> Is that still plugged in? It is still plugged in. Okay, well, so that's the knife shock or the microphone. <laughs> Dublin. Oh, that, that'll shock yeah. the Dublin out of you. <laughs> right there. <laughs> shock the Dublin. Shock the Let me get my trumpet. Right, my trumpet. <laughs> you you don't think that you're gonna do that, but you are. When that part happens, you have to do that. Does that sound like one? I go for the blues clues. Oh. Okay. And then I can put a cup on it. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to play well, when that. When it gets we'll tight, it. quit tightening because if you over tighten well, it, it won't tighten. It. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I learned something today. <laughs> or we could do it from uh, like a Spanish. Yes. Uh, more like that. I actually love your hat that way. You should keep it that way. Oh, keep it turned up. Turned yeah. up, turned on. Turning it up, turned on. We gotta turn turn it up, girl. Would you like to take a verse? I, I don't know. You sure? You I can there? make it real big so we you can, like, read it. it. You know what I mean? Well, it's like a karaoke Woo! session. Make it even bigger. Oh, Yeah? Yeah. So like oh, one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Do we all sing "I Fell Into the Burning Ring Fire"? A... So I'm gonna take the first one, and then Barry can take Let's the second one. Let's do an one. intro. No, we'll do okay. a vocal intro. You ready? You got one. a burning thing and it makes a fiery ring bound by wild desire 
And I fell into the ring of fire And I fell into the burning ring of fire I went down, down, down And the flames went higher And it burns, burns, burns The ring of fire The ring of fire Okay, ready? You got it? All the taste of love is sweet when hearts like ours meet. I fell for you like a child. Oh, but the fire went wild. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, down, down. And the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. Sit and talk for hours. B E A beautiful. It almost worked. We'll just keep talking. I hear you talking. I hear you talking. I hear you every time you call he's my name. He's singing a song. But it's too late, baby. Crying's all in vain. Oh, microphone no working. We got some. Did they just miss the most beautiful good. rendition that of that good. song that anyone has ever heard? See, I'm just a back backup singer. I just, you know, when y'all look at me and I don't need to be singing, I just bag up. <laughs> bag up. I wish that's what backup singers did. Yeah. I will. <laughs> I, will. No, I, I guarantee you. We are a team. What else you know, Barry? Are you uh, recording this? Oh, with Johnny Cash songs. I mean, you got some more on there that uh, Maybe. like... What do you want to do? I hear the train of coming. You know that one? I hear the train of coming. Rolling around the I ain't seen the sun prison. I blues. don't know when I'm stuck in Folsom prison. Time keeps dragging on. Yeah, yeah, Play yeah. some guitar for us. Do you want the microphone closer? No, that's good. Your yeah. trumpet's way better than mine. I, I never do the trumpet the lip thing. Yeah, Alright. Here we go. Hello. I'm not Johnny Cash. Who wants it? Well, I hear a train a coming. It's rolling around the bend. And I ain't seen the sunshine since I, I don't, don't know, know when. I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. And that time keeps dragging on. But that train keeps rolling on down the sand and so. Uh, he did it. Now when I was a baby, my mama told me, son, always be a good boy, don't you never ever play with guns, cause I shot a man in Reno, just to watch him die. And I hear that lonesome whistle blowing, it makes my head hang and cry.
Yeehaw! You got this one? I'll try it. I'll help you. Or hurt you. <laughs> I bet there's rich folks eating in a fancy car. They're probably drinking coffee and smoking big cigars. Well, I know I had it coming. I know I can't be free. But those people keep moving, and that's what tortures me. Ripping my heart out, girlfriend. Woo. Well, if they freed me from this prison, oh. and that railroad train was mine, I'd probably move it on a little farther down the line. How far? Far from Folsom Prison, way long gone. That's where I'd long to stay. And I'd let that lonesome whistle blow my blues away. seen the sunshine since I don't know when I'm stuck in Folsom prison and it keeps dragging on that train keeps a rolling on down to San Antonio Too, but I think we should do this more often. I think I we think got Barry, it going on. Barry's got some real potential here. We, we are. Yeah. I'm just following. I mean, you know, it's kind of like uh, always comes back to Cowboy uh, with me. It always comes back to the music, you know, with the musician to come back to places. I've learned that uh, if you surround yourself by good talent, True. you work up, you step up. You yes, know. sir. If, if uh, I am by far the worst, uh, at ear, deaf, tone, no, oh, just follow your lead. We've got we've got great Morgan here, Brian, and so what I like to be is humble and be the worst one there, and so here I am. There so you go. I'm following y'all. <laughs> you bet. Well, you're not tone deaf because it no, would have sounded way yeah. worse if you were. Been more like a impression. Hey, there you go. Luciore, got- welcome uh, from Turkey. Yeah. Turkey, Texas. Man, I've been through Turkey, <laughs> Texas a couple of times. Kittaquay State Park's right up there. Is that what, that's a great, great... Might, uh, might, might be a little different, but you know. Oh, okay. Oh, We're talking Lizzie. about a little further east. Yeah. I was talking about Thank West Texas. Host. Sorry. Thank you for the host, Lizzie. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Good stuff. How about another song? we kick it. What do you know? Nobody's... Great. I don't know. We some... Had some Somebody put a song in front of me. I thought you were about to sing Smash Mouth. <laughs> and if you don't hurry and sing it, I mm-hmm. gotta go I'll take a pee. You know some Eagles? I already did Eagles? that before yeah. I came on TV. Went in but. the banyo and got all washed up. I've been washed up for years, but I keep trying. Let me see if I've got a prettier version of this. What what would you do if I sang out of tune? Would you get up, walk out on me? What key do you do it in? I've got A right now, but I'm in mean, oh, e G. I'm in mean, G. Oh, e to G. You can do G. I can do it in I was a. just going to do this so you can, we can see the form. Oh, yeah. Who wants it? I'll do the first one. No, 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 no. It's talking about women. You should go and start about seven women. You've known okay. seven... You got seven We're women ready. friends. <laughs> oh, we got it at the beginning, ready? Bam, 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 bam. Well, I was running down the road trying to loosen my load. I got seven women on my mind. One to four to try to hold me, one to hold me, one to she's a friend of mine. Take it easy, take it easy. With the sound of your own wheels driving crazy. I 
not enough what you still can Don't even try to understand Just find your place to take your stand And take, take it easy, easy. Standing on a corner in Winslow, Arizona Such a fine sight to see There's a girl, my lord, in a flatbed floor Slowing down to take a look at me oh, Come on, baby Don't say maybe I gotta know if your sweet love is gonna save me We may lose or we may win Though we may never be here Again. So up and up I'm climbing in And take it easy And this is the part where they do the ooze oh, yeah. Trouble on my mind Looking for a lover That won't go my cover She's so hard to find Take it easy Take it easy Don't let the sound Of your own wheels Just make you crazy Come on baby Don't say me Your sweet love is gonna save me. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Gotta take it ooh, easy. Take it easy. easy. We ought to take it easy. That was an interesting choice to end on that minor chord. Everything yeah. is so happy the whole song, and then it's like minor. Maybe they didn't take it easy. Well, you know, you're either minor or major, and I, I like the minor. <laughs> it's pretty good stuff. You bet. Wow. Mm. Well, folks, um, what 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 time of the day is it now? Jake, did I ask about playing more pool? What was the what's the verdict on that? You did, but I don't. Know. You do <laughs> what, are the, what are the viewers wanting? They want to talk about the bar. Same bar. Same one each week. Thank you, JB, yep. for filling us out in. What about the crappy jokes? They must have been talking about me. <laughs> oh, my Ooh, goodness. Perfect oh, partying man. time. Are you guys What's today? in the bar room? Saturday? So it's Saturday 9 p.m. there? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Mer Math. <laughs> so, Brian. Yes. I got a curveball for you. Okay. Do we have any Bosque area events happening? Soon? Oh, yes, we sure do. That's a good time to segue Woo! right there. Folks, the Bosque area, uh, which is the area that we are living in uh, right now, has all sorts of events that go on throughout uh, the northern hill country here in, in, in the Bosque County area. And uh, if you don't know it, there's an, an actual place to find all of these gathered in one location for your viewing convenience. It is called Bosque Area Events. Dot com. At Bosque Area Events. Com. You can find all those favorite things you might want to go and do. At Bosque Area Events. Dot com. You can get out and roam around for a day or two, or a week or two, or a month or two. Heck, it's a calendar the whole year. There's things there. Coming up like June 21st, the Cliff Tex Summer Movie Club is for the kids. This is really actually pretty cool. Wednesdays at 2 p.m., and it costs $2. That's One sweet. more that time, two dollars. You can't get your tires checked for two dollars worth of gas and the windshield wiped anymore. Two dollars at 
the cliff test. That's just a quarter. Summer. <laughs> Summer movie <laughs> club. Eight quarters. <laughs> For some people that count, count them, change. eight quarters. Twenty nine. Two football games worth. Eight quarters. Only if you're a student, it's five dollars for everybody else. Wednesdays at two p.m. Uh, and I believe this Tuesday. Oh, night at the museum. Not at the Rock. Two p.m. Oh, two dollars. Night at the museum. Oh, I'd love it if it was a night at the Roxbury. <laughs> Once again, it's for the kids. The kids, they don't like it. Hey, Strand. Say, look here, eleven thirty here. How about a roping lesson from Barry? You could rope some people. We do that. Oh, hey, start and so does it. How about a roping lesson from Barry? Did you bring Aubrey, a rope? Do well, you no, a... I don't have a rope with me, but but Aubrey, uh, niece of mine, uh, she she came up this weekend and we we taught her how to rope. She never picked a rope up before, and she was roping the roping dummy like it was nothing. So, so you're so, saying that so what I'm you saying, can teach one of us. I can teach. And then I could be a roping star. Singing star. That's what I'm talking about. Get it on. We can You're do saying it. to tell if, if uh, I can starting learn. to move out here, then we can do that. Yes. Where, where are they from? Oregon. 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 Okay. Oregon. Yeah, we can do that. We can get it on. You could also hire Barry to come up to you, and that would be extra great for him. That would Am be I right? even better. Am I right? Yes. Uh, you bet. Uh, all traveling expenses expaid it's by you. It's also probably cooler up and, there, right? Uh, we'll be. Yes, I know it'd have to be cooler up there. Oregon, hope. But you Speaking bet. Speaking of cool, we'll in a different way, because it involves food. And about food, and I'll explain. My, let me explain myself. June 24th, Saturday, June 24th, at Bosque Area Events. Don't forget the National Championship Barbecue Cook-Off Auction, and it's a chamber fish fry. So it's benefiting uh, the chamber, so you uh, Meridian eat, Chamber. You eat fish to support barbecue. The barbecue. You're eating fish to support the barbecue. Listen, That'll barbecue you. Right not there. often do fish Head and wheel. pigs and cows can, have something in common. Do they barbecue the fish? No, they're, can, it's a fish fry. Can. Fish it's fry. A fish so they're going to fry things to support barbecuing. Right. That's right. I just I don't think that makes any sense. <laughs> Are you kidding me? It's, Actually, if you it have does. a stomach, it makes all kind of sense. It's it makes raining. sense because probably probably it makes for a long they're, title they're, on Bosque Area yeah. events. Well, it's a national championship barbecue cook-off auction, chamber fish fry dinner at the Meridian Civic Center, and that is going on June 24th, next Saturday, 5 p.m. to 10. Five. Yes. Yeah. It's a yummy thing. It's a real yummy thing. Are you thing. going? Hey, we, I will probably go. I wish they were having that up there in Oregon because it's 52 degrees right now and raining. So 52 and rainy in Oregon? Yeah, and we, we rope in the rain, so it yes, wouldn't be a problem. Yes, 52 degrees is definitely cool Ooh. enough. Yes, please. Yeah. <laughs> but 24th. Oh, look at this. We're going to be in Canyon. Let me look. Here's some other uh, points. July 14th, BoskeyAreaEvents.com can tell you the 66th annual Clifton Open Rodeo at the Clifton Rodeo Arena. One that moment. starts at 6 p.m. Barry, let's have a chime three. in. Let's have a yeehaw. One, two, three. Yeehaw! Yeah. <laughs> you know you're rodeo. Texan. You know you're Texan that whenever someone tells you yeehaw, you do it and you, you don't say know how rodeo. it happened. I mean, you say rodeo, you gotta, say, gotta say yeehaw. I mean, that's I remember the, the best... I want to say the mutton busting with the kids, but also yes. the best... One yes. time it was raining yes. and it was so muddy... And they had all these, it was like the youth, they had to go tag the cow or something. Right, right. But most of them aren't heavy enough to grab it by themselves. And it was just everyone was slipping and sliding over. It was so intense. Yes. And it was really fun. It's good. So, That's one best thing go. about the mutton busting and, and uh, turning your kids loose in the rodeo arena. <laughs> uh, to go rip a ribbon off of a 500-pound calf. Or usually they use a 300-pound yeah. calf. Uh, and the kids, and or uh, to about 150-pound sheep you can tie your kids to. And let them loose and run all over the arena really with, teaches with a them chance character. of death. <laughs> but we cannot, only in America, because we cannot whip our children at the grocery store without going to the penitentiary. Actually, you for, can here. You can in Norway, you know? though. But uh, but we can tie them on to a farm animal and watch them nearly kill themselves and laugh yeah, about Yeah, but it, it's, so. it's adorable, too. When you it get is, them in that neat. little rodeo yes. gear, oh, it's so cute. Yeah. Okay, do they play the song we want? What yeah. meaning like yeah, if you have a request, maybe request. if we know it. This is if we I don't mean, we know don't we'll look always, it up. We don't always get Is uh, it okay? Morgan here. Any new here? Oh, okay, cool, yeah. The rules. The rules are we will do it if we can. But if we can't yeah. can't. And if we can't Simple we'll try. Hey, you missed the uh on July eighth, which is a July. Saturday. 
There's a luau at the horny toad bar and grill. We said horny toad. There's a luau, a luau. Starting at? Starting at 11 a.m. And ending round midnight. And we ending round midnight. It's like 13 hours of fun. There's 13 hours of fun. 13 hours. At the Hornet Toad. Bring your flowery tropical Hawaiian shirt. Your tropical flowery Hawaiian shirt. And your grass Wear it skirt. for the entire 13 hours. And please do. We don't need any indecency. Nailed it. At the Hornet Totally toe. nailed it. Hey, also, apparently awesome. there might be a murder mystery dinner somewhere else. So, like, you should go to the Hornet Oh, toe the murder mystery dinner at the Flint Creek Manor. Yeah. Yes. Murder mystery so, show up at the murder the mystery. You know, that's, that's what I like about Texas. You know, we, we don't just worry about somebody being murdered. You know, we're gonna have a dinner about it. You know, we're gonna have supper. We're gonna, we're gonna have, have lunch or supper. What you know? I mean, we're do gonna you eat. say supper for dinner or like dinner no, for lunch? No, dinner. We lunch. had this discussion supper is earlier, supper. But yeah, yeah. But 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 the only reason is because I'm tr- I'm trying to, you know to understand that Jesus had last supper. So not that's last dinner. dinner. Okay. Yeah, so. gotcha. Okay. So if it had been dinner, it'd been lunch. Lunch is just the dumbest word, huh? Long just as when no you're eating, you're eating. That's it. <laughs> well, if we wouldn't have used lunch, we couldn't have had brunch. Exactly. See breakfast and lunch. They like tried brunch? to use they tried to use breakfast and dinner, and that just comes out brenner, and you, then you don't know what That's what you're brenner, eating. Which reminds exactly. you of uh, the king and I. Yeah, and or magnificent seven. And he didn't eat much, so yeah. yeah. Or Nobody wants to seven, eat brenner. So. Magnificent seven. Yeah, the stuff you learn on this show. Did you show. see the new magnificent seven? Mm, no, I don't get out much. No, actually, well, the new magnificent <laughs> seven. The lead guy. Denzel uh, Washington. Yeah, Denzel Washington. So I mean. It Black was pretty Outlaws good. Matter. I think yeah, I would recommend it. He did good. He did it's a, a good, deal. good evening at home. You can watch it at home. You don't have to go out to see it. Just red box it. Yeah, I guess you can. You got to go get the red box. Well, he can send somebody else to get the red box. Go ahead and send Ouch. it. I'm just saying, like, he could. So, someone says, I'm a Supernatural fan. Dude, one of my students is a Supernatural I hear fan. Chuck. God was singing Fare it. thee well, dinks. Fare thee well, fare thee well. Like, fare thee well. Fare thee well. I don't remember all that song. And Shirley Temple movie, my wife has a collection. Folly, Ollie, doodle all the day. We play the cuffs. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York Island. Break it down. What's the next line? Forest right the forest. to the Gulf Stream waters. <laughs> this land was made for you and me. So on the supernatural thing, I have a student and she never stops talking about it. But the benefit to it is that the soundtrack, they play like all good classic rock. So oh, she yeah. likes, you know, she'll, she'll bring in, I want to say like Kansas and... Uh, what else? Like we've already done, uh, don't fear the reaper and stuff like that. And she's like 12, so yeah, it makes me very good. happy because most kids that's like good. are like, I just want to listen to Taylor Swift, but she does not, and it's really fun. No, so nobody. I'm thankful for that show, even though I don't watch it. Yeah, there's a lot of ex-boyfriends that didn't want to listen to her either. So yeah, well, she has to have them to create the create the music. Yeah, create the music. Yes, that's good. I don't know about you guys, but usually once I finish Bosque area events, yep. the, the plane is coming in for a landing. Yep. Um, boy, the chat has been this lots of fun today, I'm and we've got some new folks that I, I've never seen on there. But once yeah. I have two more things on Bosque area events. July 21st, the Horseshoe Tournament at Heiko City Park, 530. Did that you know there was a, a Horseshoe Tournament in going. Heiko? That is cool. Have I, you ever seen anybody shoe a horse? 
<laughs> I mean, it is rapid. Well, I, I, that's not I it. don't know. That's oh. probably it's when they throw them oh, after can't make they a took them. Oh, out of that. Okay, okay. They should, That'd be though, gonna take like them off the horse. Good. You pull the shoes off the horse before you throw them. So, All yeah, the we're, boots that would and the, yeah. Much yes. more interesting Got tournament. It. And also the 22nd, which is two weeks uh, from today, yeah. No, that's July twenty second. That's over. That's almost like I like said, a month. six weeks from today. <laughs> uh, well, you know, Larry Gallon's gonna be in concert. Oh man, all the gold in California is in a bank in the middle of Beverly Hills, and the somebody holds his tame. So if you're <laughs> dreaming about California. Yeah. It don't matter at all where you played before. California's a brand new game. First, trying to be a hero, winding up a zero, can scar a man forever, right down to his soul. Living in a spotlight. Can kill a man outright Cause everything that glitters It is not gold Pick a harmony All the gold in California Is in a bank in the middle of Beverly Hills And somebody here So if you're dreaming about California It don't matter at all where you played before California's a brand new game We definitely need to make that a thing A brand new game A brand new game Nailed Good All stuff right. right there. Folks, uh, so obviously that, um, is as that good as it guy gets. is going to be Larry here. Larry Gatlin. Larry you should, Gatlin. You should go and like Gatlin show Brothers. up and be like, can, yeah. can I play with you? Uh, I actually changed some lyrics to your song. and yeah. I, Maybe he'd do it. You know? Well, back he's going to be, I like that. He's gonna be at the Bosque Arts Center July 22nd, 7 p.m. I bet it's going to be packed if you knew that song. Other people oh, yeah. have to know that song. Yeah, and there's plenty more, but uh, she's a broken lady. Waiting to, to be, be mended. mended. Larry Gallon. Yeah, that's good. That's stuff. cool. Gallen you need Brothers. to go and get, like, get your hat signed or something. I do. I do. We're going to land mean? the plane, I believe, Barry. Should oh, we leave we on a jet down? plane? I just, we we just should leave on, on a jet plane. <laughs> hey, good. speaking of jet plane. Yes? Yeah. Leaving on a jet plane? What that's did we do last night? Leaving on a jet plane. <laughs> yeah, me and Barry can sing oh. that song. <laughs> Isn't that Denver? Yeah. That is John Denver, little uh, John Dusseldorfer, I have the, who wrote the that. Sheep. You got it? Changed got his it. name to John Denver. Should we and made sing it while they fade us off? Yes, the, oh, the, uh, do bad. If they think they fade the, us uh, off while we're Peter singing. Peter, Paul, and Mary uh, cut that song, as well as him. And, uh, you know, that's where that come from, uh, Robin Peter to pay Paul. I think that's why they broke up. And that's when they did a Hail Mary. Peter, Paul, and Mary. Yeah. L, 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 L. Leaving. There it is. Mine's Folks, an e thank you though. for joining us right on here in Texas Big Star Live. It is uh, June 17th. And uh, thank you, our Twitch family that has chatted with us. And uh, we appreciate you joining in, chiming in on a fine summer day. No matter where you are on the earth, uh, we're glad you're here. We're glad you're alive and still kicking and screaming and breathing. We're going to leave you with this song, and uh, you can just do a slow fade out on this. Should we country fight? Oh, yeah. We got it. <laughs> it's going to be country fight. Do you want an E-flat? I don't know how slow of a fade it, I, I can do. I think it's easy to try. sing. I'm leaving. I think it's good for his range, am I? Yeah. yeah. How about E? There you go. All my bags are packed. I'm ready to go. Standing here outside your door I hate to wake you up to say goodbye But the dawn is waking, it's early morn The taxi's waiting, his whistle's horn 
Already I'm so lonesome I could die So kiss me and smile for me Tell me that you'll wait for me Hold me like you'll never let me go Cause I'm leaving on a jet plane I don't know when I'll be back again Oh babe, I hate to go Go ahead There's so many times I let you down so many times I played around I'll tell you now They don't mean a thing Every place I go I think of you Every song I sing I'll sing for you When I come back I'll bring you a wedding ring So kiss me and smile for me Tell me that you'll wait for me Hold me like you never let me go Cause I'm leaving on a jet plane Don't know when I'll be back again Oh babe, I hate to see you go Again. Oh, babe, oh, babe, I hate, hate to, to go. go. We hate to go. Actually, we love to leave on time. Texas Goodbye, everybody. Big Star. Texas Big Star. Hates to go. He's the best new singer in Bosque County. Adios from the horny toe. Why are you leaving the horny toe now? <laughs>